and welcome to another episode of High Rollers Dungeons and Dragons with me, your Dungeon Master Mark Sherlock Humes. Welcome all of you, I know that there's quite a few of you out there today. Uh, welcome friends to a brand new uh, live episode of D&D. Joining me are my wonderful friends. Uh, we are joined by uh, Rhiannon, uh, Tom, Hello. Katie, Hello. Trot and Kim. Uh, Hello. By their names you will figure it out. Uh, welcome uh, <laughs> to our homebrew D&D campaign uh, set in our kind of sci-fi fantasy mixed world. Um, we're going to be here playing some D&D and we hope that you enjoy it and check it out. A uh, couple of yeah. quick things before we get into, we normally do a little recap of the previous episode and then we will jump straight into playing and it's going to be, uh, things are going to be kicking off pretty, pretty quick with today's episode. Hey, um, pretty, pretty quick. Uh, so a couple of quick things, um, and that is just we want to say a thank you to D&D Beyond. Not officially sponsored this week, but we do want to do a thank you because they are doing a little giveaway that we've partnered up with them uh, for this week. And they'll be back mm -hmm. as sponsors, uh, hopefully ASAP. It's just in the process of getting it all sorted out. Um, but yeah. yeah, so Trot, tell us a little bit about this competition. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what was that? I put the D&D Beyond logo down there. All right. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I was like, okay, Magic. sure. Have we got a special treat for you today? Thanks to D and D Beyond. You know the place, the best digital tool set for D and D Fifth Edition, with an awesome character creator, dynamic character sheets, searchable source books, among many other features like combat encounter, dice roller, all that kind of stuff, encounter tracker. Too many good things to list in one thing. However, how about? winning something from D&D &D Beyond because we've yeah, got a competition. Good. We've got a little giveaway that D&D &D Beyond have kindly given us. It is a source book bundle. And guess what? It's oh, worth $364. So it's a pretty oh. big boy. It oh. includes all of the source books. We're talking all of these boys. The PHP, a good the bundle. Dungeon Master Guide, the Monster yeah. Manual, all of the adventure stuff, the Wild Mount, the Eberrons, the Seron, all the, all the good stuff. Xanathars, Volos. The total package. Really freaking good. So how do Best you book. enter this giveaway? Well, simple really. All you have to do, there is a link on our Twitter right now, High Rollers DND, uh, that Ree kindly posted. Thank you. It's a Gleam link, and all you have to do is go onto that, and then make sure you're followed on High Rollers. It's also in chat. Or Twitch, and it's in chat as well. So hit the link, follow us either on Twitch or on High Rollers DND on Twitter, and you're entered. And we'll announce the winner on Twitter or on here as well. So to make yep. sure that <laughs> the winner gets their prize. And then we're going to send yep. you the yes. code, you redeem it. We'll tell you how to redeem it. Boom, you got $364 worth of bundle. Source book nice goodness. Nice, sweet books. Wow. Yeah, um, yeah. so Thank no, you, check that out. That. Uh, that's a seriously good bundle. If you're looking into getting into D&D, &D, yeah. if you want to start using D&D &D Beyond, that is literally one of the best things you could get because it's all the books you need to make characters, to run adventures, to run campaigns. Um, yeah. Everything you need is, is in all of that. Um, if you already own them, Give somebody else a chance to win them. If you already own them, you yep. know, encourage other people to go out and invite. The other thing I wanted to say as well is that we're going to have a new referral code for D&D &D Beyond. So if you want to go and check out D&D &D Beyond, if you want to... Sorry? Drop. True. Oh, true. <laughs> true. Um, if you want to go and check out D&D &D Beyond, if you want to sign up for an account, if you want to buy any books, please do use that code because it does tell them that you found them or you've gone to their site through us and that helps us a lot. That helps us for future sponsorships and stuff like that. Please so do smash use the link. that referral code in chat um it's on the i think it's if you go through like the pages and stuff it should be all there but yeah please do use that link uh just to let D, &D beyond know where you've come from that's from us yeah um yes have fun good luck with the competition very cool prize and a big thank you once again to D, &D beyond um then really only a quick two quick things i just wanted to mention really not that much to talk about this week one was just a big thank you to kelsey and twitch um because yesterday we took part in a little uh random stream we took part in the big twitch quiz which was a big sort yeah. of like UK pub quiz um, with us and a bunch of other streamers. Um, Trot was in a different team. We beat him. We that won. was the best bit. Uh, <laughs> we didn't win, but we came pretty we close. Won. But I did want to say thank you. We won very spiritually because we beat Hat Films. Uh, 
I did want to say a big thank you to Kelsey and Twitch for including us. That will be on our VOD. So if you want to watch us, our perspective of the quiz, you can check that out. It was very chaotic on the High Rollers team, uh, mainly thanks to Tom and Ree and a lot of internal arguing. Chaos Twins um, Energy. Can check that out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Chaos, big Chaos Twins <laughs> chaos Energy. energy. You say uh, um, and Tom and Ree. It was you and Tom who were shouting at each other the most. I don't know what you're talking <laughs> about. I don't know what you're talking about, Kim. No idea. Right. Um, friend, good friend. Yeah. The pizza debacle. <laughs> Uh, but check that out. Um, hopefully they'll do another one and we'll be including that and you should come watch it. Um, and that was that. And then the last one was just, there was no Curse of Strahd last week. So if you're watching this on YouTube and you're like, where was Curse of Strahd? There's not been a Curse of Strahd upload. There was no Curse of Strahd last week. Uh, we had a lot of various things going on. Um, so just don't expect that. Uh, and hopefully we'll be back to Curse of Strahd this week. That is on Thursdays at 8 p.m. here on the same Twitch channel, uh, High Rollers D&D. If you're on Yogscast uh, watching at the moment, Come over to Twitch uh, forward slash High Rollers D&D and you can watch us uh, do even more D&D on there, uh, as well as other random stuff like the Pub Quiz and Chaos Twins um, and some other cool shows. Uh, and with that, that is wow. all I have the notes thing. I had. No, 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 One there's another thing. Oh. Two oh. things. Um, so Ayla is in Idol Champions, oh, yes. as you know, as a champion. Yeah. We have now got a new skin, a new in-game skin. So you can now get Valkyrie Ayla, which is super badass. Um, yeah. So I worked with the guys to create this skin, which is incredible. And if you haven't Very already cool. unlocked Ayla, this is your chance to get her. So if you missed the previous one, then you can get her now. But also nice. I have five bundle codes that I put a note about in in this in the staff chat and Discord Nightjar. If you wouldn't mind maybe giving them away in chat throughout, that would be incredible. So that you guys awesome. can grab one. That, Perfect. That's my there you go. Um, and you can find uh, it's not just Ayla and Idol Champions as well. Ayla's just got the new skin, um, but you can also grab Sentry, uh, Nova, and Quill, and they all work together. So if you play Idol Champions of the Forgotten Realms, uh, you can get a little High Rollers team going, and hopefully. Lucius will be joining them sh soon as well, so we well, can I've have had that. some chats uh, with them. It's on the way. I know you have. I know you have. Right. Well, is there anything else that I've forgotten about? Because I did forget about that one. Because brain. Um, is there anything else? High Rollers mm. is probably the best place to watch D and D. Sure. Thanks, Chris. Yeah. What a High what Rollers D and D plug. on Twitch. What a really convincing plug that you've just done. Probably. Um, cool. <laughs> um, for those I've seen couple of new people in uh, who are watching from front page uh, are asking. Uh, this is a 5th edition Dungeons & Dragons homebrew campaign, so it's not set in the Forgotten Realms. It's our own unique homebrew world, of which you will find out a little bit more after this. Welcome back to Erois. Last time, our party of heroes have been trying to escape from the planet of Azagorat, the pleasure planet or the demon planet of the multiverse. There, they have been trapped in the city of Zelatar under the rule of Gratz, the demon prince. With the aid of a drow matron mother and worshippers of Lolth, however, the group have enacted a plan to finally escape their clutches. Disabling the mar magical barriers that prevent their astral ship from escaping and disabling the chains that currently hold it in place, the party split into two groups. The part first half approached the astral port uh, and decided to sneak in through a storage yard, taking care of a few guards and then ultimately crawling through the network of magical conduits and pipes uh, before emerging and planning to ambush the guards stationed outside their astral ship the twin star longbow. Meanwhile, 
uh, sneaking into a tower under the cover of invisibility. Uh, Nova, Captain Thalia, and their new drow ally, Fyra, disabled the magical barrier generator, as well as uh, including a system that would allow Fyra to reactivate it once the ship was clear of the astral port, therefore preventing any further escape. As of the ever-present threat of the Demon Prince Gratz, if he finds out where they are, if an alarm is raised and enough time passes, Gratz will locate them. Gratz will be a threat greater than this party can face. But, so far, things have gone pretty well. As the party emerged from the network of conduits and cables, uh, Sentry, unfortunately, alerts the guards to their presence. And we begin this week by rolling initiative. Uh, so, everybody, oh, I would very much like wow. you to roll initiative. Um, okay. Kim, I know you have a thing you wanted to do. <laughs> So we will start that basically. Uh, that'll be once I've got everyone's initiative, we'll have you narratively describe that. Um, yeah. And then we will kick things off. So is this oh, a surprise one. round or, or they have spotted us? It is oh, not yeah, a surprise round, century. no. Because, yeah. yeah, well, not just Sentry. A few of you uh, didn't do very well on your stealth checks. Uh, and after emerging into the Astral Port, uh, I'll, I'll describe the scene and set the scene as well. But I just want to get the initiatives down um, so that we sure. can roll straight into it. Oh, uh, cool. Lucius, total. 21. 21. Uh, Quillek. 15. 15. Ayla, total initiative, please. She's muted. No, I think it was a 20. <laughs> 20. 20? Okay. You said 20. Like, uh, century, total. Uh, 19. 19. Very good initiatives all around, actually. Nova. Yeah. Better. Four. <laughs> Four. Okay, there you go. That makes up for it. Okay. The balance is restored. So, before, we, before we fully jump into this combat then. So, across the way, across a, a large street filled with visitors of all kinds. Demons, humanoids, fey, even some angelic beings. Uh, Ganassi... The busy streets of Azagrat, across the way, there is a tall spire, at the top of which sits one of the magical generators that powers the force net enshrouding the entire port, keeping any of the ships from escaping. And we see at the top in a small control tower uh, with glass, a uh, circular glass window all the way around it, almost like an air traffic control tower, we see uh, Nova, the Air Ganassi, uh, along with Captain Thalia, a Medusa, who dresses a little bit like Han Solo, uh, along with a drow inquisitor called Fyra, uh, dressed in black and white leather armor. Uh, you guys have taken control of the various engineers and technicians that work on the Magitech that powers this device. Um, and yeah, you have just finished hacking or, or kind of magically controlling this um, enchantment and you are about to teleport over. We've already marked the spell off, but I know you had a specific way you wanted to conjure it. So tell us what that looks like. Um, so I basically wanted to, um, like how much of the, uh, where the ship is, how much of that can I see from it? Is it clear, like? It's not clear because it's a good sort of, you know, you're talking quite a long distance away, like, you know, yeah. 500, 300, 300, 500 feet away. So you can see like tiny shapes and vague outlines of what's going on. Um, but that's probably about it. Okay, I think um, you know, on a there's a large level, probably... space in the middle that you can yeah. probably target with the portal. I'd probably want to communicate with the other team. You know, are they out? Because I I don't want to zap in, like think that I'm gonna zap in and like you know suddenly just I, throw off. I stuff, believe so that I... we ended the very last session with you sending them a message as you were conjuring yeah. the portal, and that was as okay. they were emerging from the pipes. So there's right. not really any room to, for further communication. I think we replied okay. with like, yeah, we're going in stealthy. Yeah. We watch out for the, no! <laughs> okay. It was so that kind of, like, like yeah. it's yeah. kicked off, okay. basically. Um, in which case, uh, can I grab Thalia's hand and say, I have an idea. It's kind of weird, but just go with it. And then can I start to climb back out of the window to where we were? Um, Mm -hmm. and then cast the port, the arcane gate from there so that we step through the portal um, but uh, to, to where the ship is. But if something was to maybe, you know, be encouraged back the other way, 
they'd have a ledge. Well, and a drop. here's the problem. If you imagine that you're on like a balcony, if you conjure the mm -hmm. portal directly in front of you and you enter it that way, anything that comes out will just basically emerge in like out the way you've just come, which means they would land on the balcony. If you want to do this as some sort of trap, you would need to like cast it in midair and either jump through it or jump down into it um, to do that. If you just create it on like the same level yeah, as you yeah, and just yeah. step through it, they'll just yeah. step and land safely on this balcony, which would obviously what put kind of, Pyro in danger. What kind of check would you make me roll for that? Like, I feel I, like I, that's a, that's a. I don't know. Well, like, it depends like on how you conjure it. Like, if you kind of conjure it, it down, if you if your idea is you you jump off and fall into the portal, uh, mm -hmm. there might be some sort of checks involved in that. Probably acrobatics in in nature. Make sure that you fall through it correctly. <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't be too difficult. It's basically just stepping down into it. Yeah, it's just but step, it's also step preparing yourself it. magically uh, to, yeah. to create it. It's going to be another um, giant situation back on that dragon world. Um, Maybe. Do you know what? YOLO, let's do it. You only live once. Okay. Sure, just make an acrobatics check for me. I'll make one for um, Thalia. Also, I just decided I need... I'm not gonna make it like too crazy down, like you know. I, I live twice. No, but it's the the reason for the check, Kim, uh, is because ultimately, conjuring, casting a magic spell involves lots of complicated hand gestures and speaking, and you're doing that whilst jumping. But you can't know, I cast 200 it and then feet up in the air. jump? You can cast can't it and I... hold it, and then you have to basically aim it and fall through it. So that's why I'm gonna say yeah. acrobatics check. Okay, here we go, kids. Yeah. That's a 19. There you go. Perfect. Nice. Uh, and then, yeah, Thalia's at like 16 as well. So you basically cast a spell, hold it, kind of channeling the energy for a second, and then as you begin falling, you kind of step off, yanking Thalia with you. Um, you summon this spell ahead of you, and you fall through it. You will carry some of the momentum of falling, very much like Portal, as you emerge from the other end. Um, speedy thing goes in, speedy so, thing comes out. Speedy thing comes in, speedy thing comes out. So, whereabouts, you can pretty much see, uh, yeah. I will mark roughly where you can see on this battle map that we have. Um, you can see sort of this space or this space. Uh, the two giant uh, chains are kind of obscured by a half wall, um, but the easiest spaces for you to conjure the portal will be in these two spaces here. So you can see like a large, almost like a courtyard um, in between these two large stone pillars with what appears to be a kind of metal fencing um, between it, uh, and then a large open area just in front of the, the astral ship's gangway. Um, okay, I will cast it. Um, just draw like a little five foot line or yeah, something for I'm me. Gonna, so it's a ten foot portal. Uh, ten, oh, there you go, okay. Ten, ten foot in diameter. Uh, and I'm going to cast it right in front of the two guys um, here. Um, okay. So right in front of them. And almost okay. come out barreling into them. Well, you will, in fact, um, definitely do that. Uh, <laughs> a good show. I you like also this. shoot into a metal gangway, uh, which is directly oh. ahead of you that leads up into the ship. Uh, okay. So technically, you would be falling at a rate of about sort of 50, 60 feet, let's say. Um, you shoot out at that speed. You're going to collide into two objects. I will have each of them make a deck saving throw against your spell DC. So what's your spell DC? Uh, that is a 17. 17. I think that's going to be fail on both of them. Uh, they're going to take some damage, but you two are also going to take some damage um, from as you fly out and impact into this metal crate, uh, metal walkway. You are basically slamming into it at an extremely high speed. Um, you're all going to take 12 points of bludgeoning damage as you come hurtling out of this space. And I will also <laughs> knock these guys prone um, for that oh, nice. as well. Damn. Awesome. That's a good oh, start. Yeah. 12 points of damage to her. Uh, <laughs> and then 12 damage there. I always make a big Four entrance, damage. don't I? There. Yeah. We should get like a cannon yeah. on the ship. We can just fire you into places. Fire me out of it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we'll yeah they there. wouldn't be able to get any of that stuff off. Okay. A literal bolt from cool. the blue. So, <clears throat> you see, so you do this just as 
the giants and the there are to describe the scene for you this large red uh, rocky ground covers the entire port um, but it's been sort of paved over in this thick black tar like uh, material in certain places the back of the port is covered in these thick rows of large metal pipes that crackle with arcane energy um, and there is a metal gangway that leads up to your ship this sleek angular uh, astral ship uh, that you've been traveling on attached to the ship uh, and descending down into the ground uh, connected to two metal plates are five foot wide 40 50 feet long thick metal chains um, they're made from a, a dark black iron that doesn't really look like any metal that you have encountered before um, and next to each chain is an enormous large, dark, armored, pale-fleshed giant uh, that stands over each one with a large weapon, a uh, great sword in each hand. Um, uh, sorry, uh, they have like wrapped chains, uh, almost like uh, uh, with these hooked metal spikes at the end um, that they're wielding. Uh, just behind them are two large stone pillars um, with these kind of metal railings and then a scattering of boxes and cargo uh, from before the port was locked down. Um, it's quite a large open space apart from these columns and railings. Um, and the the very south of the map, uh, if you imagine it, is where the doorway that leads to the guard posts is. Um, outside of this doorway, there are two guard posts. Um, and we begin literally with Thalia and Nova shooting out of this portal. You, There's just enough time for the, the mage and its strange golden masked companion to kind of point in the direction of the rest of the party say hey what's what's going on over there the giants begin turning as this blue shimmering portal appears and a screaming thalia uh who is screaming nova what the fuck and <laughs> <laughs> um, they come flying Amazing. out smacking into these two unsuspecting figures who go stumbling back falling to the ground uh nova and thalia you impact against the walkway you are also knocked prone um, as, yeah, just this tumbled mass of you come shooting out at high velocity. Um, and then we kick if we kick off the proper initiative uh, kick with kick Lucius. Off. Kicketh it off. Right, so... What the I chains, do... by the way, are thick enough that uh, you will have to climb over them. They do count as difficult terrain. Uh, they're kind of at a diagonal, um, and they are very heavy and very, very thick. So moving across them uh, counts as extra movement. Okay. I will thrust my gauntleted hand toward the first chain and mm -hmm. a spiral of blue energy comes down to the fingertips and beams out, creating a wall of ice mm -hmm. that's going to cut across horizontally across both chains, creating a barrier. But also, the lines that are on the gauntlet that pulse down using chromatic control, three sorcerer points so as a reaction, thank you, mm -hmm. uh, changes the green. <laughs> so as it's also creating this ice, acid follows it, and it uh, mm -hmm. sweeps across the whole lot, changing it all into a wall of acid. So you create a wall of acid instead. Uh, what yes. is the range on um, wall of ice? Like how long and stuff can it be? So it's 120 feet to cast it, for one. Yep, and so you can I cast can it do... yeah, pretty much anywhere in this range. 10 10 foot square panels so that's a hundred foot long Hundreds. yes yeah. okay sucks compared to this uh wall of light is also a lower level spell oh true that um uh, yeah okay true thanks uh you've already done that for me uh cool so you see this swirling <laughs> orange pattern oh somebody did um, thanks, Tom. i don't know who <laughs> oh, thanks that's Tom. Cool. That's technically cool. I, th I think it can be a bit longer as well because i think it's a hundred feet ah uh, it's um, fine it's fine. It, well, Probably you say that. Important. Oh, they can just it go around it, right? It can uh, be they definitely extra... could, yeah, just go around it if you don't fully size it. Well, I'll let you do that, Thomas. Uh, whilst, yeah, this this orange <laughs> wall just is conjured into being um, as you see it. Yeah. Step from, for fuck's sake. Um, uh, yeah, so it's a cascade. So you see it create as ice, but also straight after it, it then distorts into Tom, stop. orangey acid. Yeah. Cool. Um, uh, 
So across both chains as well? Yes, I want to hit both. And also it kind of forms a, a bit of an annoyance for the two big boys mm -hmm. uh, behind it. Yeah, absolutely it will. Uh, sorry. Those two giants. <laughs> and I'm hoping it's going to do some damage to them chains. That's the ultimate aim right there. It yeah. is. So, uh, roll the damage. So normally when you create Wall of Ice, just read it out what it normally does for us. Sure. So, if the wall cuts through a creature's space, it would push it. Uh, it would take 10d6 damage, or half as much okay. on a successful Currently save. Currently doesn't cut through a creature's space. Okay. So the chains don't make a save, because they're chains, obviously. They don't... Yeah. Chains can't dodge out of the way. Um, so just roll the damage for me, um, and that is what it will deal. Oh. Well, uh, it would be the first one. Oh. I was going to say, yeah, the, I don't know what the second one was. Um, it must have double clicked. So it's 27, which is way 27. less. Uh, so the ones will become twos. So that's 20, 30. Ten, uh, It'd be 30 total. Uh, yeah. 30 points of acid damage. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to make then, a... And my don't commence, you would also switch on. <laughs> <laughs> so how much no, uh, how much necromancy damage and which chain Ten. are you doing that to? Uh, I will do it to this chain closest to us, which is the one there. Okay. The so another ten one. points to that one. Yeah. Okay. So you watch as this wall streaks across the two chains. Um, the bubbling acid, the swirling viscous liquid begins pitting and eating away at these thick iron chains and you can see that it is yeah making uh very very quickly damaging and corroding them perhaps if it was normal steel uh these chains would already have been broken but these it seems i mean this they're so thick each individual link that the acid is melting them but has not fully destroyed them um it's begun eating its way maybe through about half of it you're not quite sure um, but yeah, well, has already well, severely do damaged them. As long damage. as you keep concentrating, I believe, because you have to concentrate on this spell, yes? yes. Okay, well, yes, as long as you don't lose concentration, then it will do. Very well. Okay. That is my go. Uh, would you like to move or anything, or are you just going to stay? You're kind of huddled around this gate. Uh, is this, this great, uh, sorry. This pipe difficult terrain, is it a block? It's... They are like 10 feet high. The pipes around the back, um, I've moved Sentry onto one just because it's easier than having a on top of Quill space. But yeah, these the, the thick metal pipes that kind of lead up to the gangway are about 10 feet high. So yeah, they would you'd need to like sp spend time climbing up them effectively. Um, I would like to get behind it as cover. So can I do a acrobatic? If there's over not it? enough room to get behind the pipe uh, for cover, no, I mean on this they're, side, they're, they becomes like a thick. Yeah, I don't. Is there space on that side? Uh, yeah, you don't. could climb over it. Yeah, I mean it would be sort of twenty feet to get on top of it with an, an athletics check to climb up. Because um, you'll need to climb yeah, it you as you're. When you say they're ten feet high, do you mean you can go under them? No, no, it's they are like feet. huge, Solid. huge walls of metal right, okay. and, and crystal. Okay. Um, they're almost like, yeah, these enormous pipes. Um, yeah, yeah, but you'd need okay. to climb up one in order to get on top of it and get to the other side. I'm just going to do this instead. 5, 10, 15, 20. Oh, wait. I'm technically on a pipe right now. Where does it count as being on? Can I move like this? Sorry, my Chrome window just broke. I've got to Can I do refresh this? roll 20. <laughs> I've got to refresh roll 20. Hang on, give me a second. Um, I think that, I think no, so you are not on top of it. Yeah, you can fine. move along it like that. You can move along it like that, for sure. So, so you can kind of shimmy along the side of it. And be here now. So I've gone yep. all the way around this pipe that's sticking out into the battle arena. And I've just gone behind <laughs> it. Yeah. Sure. Okay. That's me. Okay. Uh, Ayla. I would like to rage for one, and then I will uh, hop on over to this dude, who is, I believe, prone on the ground. Well, I still you... have movement so... even with difficult terrain. Yep, you do. I have forty-five yep. feet of movement. You um, do. Uh, so you can make an attack. I would. Would I get advantage because they're prone? So uh, you do. 
Um, however, the creature next to it in the golden mask, as it sees you rushing towards its ward, uh, it intercepts the attack. It kind of rolls on top of it. You have to target that creature instead. You cannot target the uh, <laughs> the spellcaster. Um, oh, but you no. still have advantage because it is also prone. Uh, it kind of yeah. rolls on top of that's it fine. to absorb the blow. That's fine. Kebab him. I Damn, hit that's someone. Sad. It's all good. It's all good. Um, yeah. So, uh, nine. Oh, that wasn't a very good roll, but uh, 18. 18 will hit. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, and the next hit is a... Uh, Magic weapon. Uh, 13 plus 9, which will also hit. Um, mm -hmm. So then we are doing D10. Uh, 14 damage on the first strike. 14 damage, okay. Uh huh. And 11 damage on the second strike, and then a deck save. Mm hmm. Does have uh, advantage on that, but it's going to be a 21 on its deck that save. That will pass. Oh, I rolled two ones. God damn it. Uh, uh, so you also notice one. that even then, it, the lightning doesn't seem to affect this creature as much as Bam. you would hope as well. It's great. Uh, so you watch as this masked face creature, it almost kind of rotates its joints into a very bizarre way and scurries on top yeah. of the mage, absorbing the impact as you, you bring your hammer down twice, uh, grunting yeah. loudly as it does, but it makes no sort of like audible cry for pain or anything like that. It just kind of recognizes the impact with a solid sort of, uh, but okay. doesn't scream out or, or cry out um, as it does um, so. Uh, the creature I underneath also... it appears to be like a pale-skinned man who's screaming like, ah, intruders, deal with them! Kill them! Can I also... Uh, I should have said it before I moved. I was going to say, I completely forgot. Um, I was going to say to Rethra, do you know a way we can break these chains easily? Before I go, and then I'll go. Because <laughs> uh, I know he's his, a black his, his, Well, well he, he looks at you. Yeah, he looks at you, and he's like, S hit, smash them. <laughs> he doesn't... He, he's just like, yeah. hit them as hard as we can. Do that. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm done. professional I'm done. opinion. That's a professional yeah. person's well, opinion. Mm. Sure. I was wondering if they had any other, like, you know... Lucius he wasn't really trained acid, as a blacksmith, but more he was kind of a dog's body in the in the blacksmiths of carrying well, heavy stuff and things. Well, I don't know that. Sentry. I'm just going to move you, Sentry, because technically you're on the same space as okay. Quill, but um, you are. Alrighty. Yeah. So yeah, Sentry. Um, I'm going to move up to here, and then mm -hmm. can I use my flame lance to try and do some more damage to the point that Lucius has already hit? Uh, you nice. can absolutely. So it's an attack. Uh, okay. Is it normally a deck saving throw on the flame lance? It is a deck throw, yeah, deck save, yeah. Okay, well, it fails those automatically, so just roll the damage. Okay, so 3d10. 16. 16 more points. Nice. Then, so uh, with this superheated blast... Yeah, don't forget to take that cold damage as well. I think you take some cold damage when you yeah, use the flame lance. Yeah, d6. Mm-hmm. So you watch as this superheated, you know, line of fire begins cutting through several of the chains. But even then, it's not quite enough to burn through a, a link entirely. Um, you just see it turning it red hot and melting it as the acid itself is burning it away. Uh, and then you said you wanted to bonus action? Yeah, I was going to misty step 30 feet back to the guys up here. Sure. Okay, yeah. So you bamf back and get yourself ready uh, for back. protection. Um, perfect. Okay. Uh, Quillic and Kalar. Your uh, very high initiative are working out very well at this point. Yeah. Ooh, never I moved at all. I'm going to continue... Stuff. I'm going to continue with my plan, even though there's been a bit of noise, and I'm going to cast Silence uh, in that gap by the two gates, or by mm -hmm. in the entire gap of the gate, to act as like a black hole of sound, even though I guess it could carry on over the wall, but it'll still mask it a lot. Um, I don't need to see the point either, apparently. So I can okay. just do... Oof. A big, uh, a big sphere of silence. Big sphere of silence nice. to try and uh, mask any audio from this fight going to the guards. Like there. Nice. Um, nice, nice. And that's an action to do that. Uh, so, I'm going to stay back a bit. 
hide behind these two. So I need to concentrate on it. And that's my turn. Sure. Okay. Nice. Uh, Thalia on her turn basically rushes up the gangway to the door of the Twin Star Longbow. Uh, and she begins on the crystalline panel. She begins tapping in a sequence of numbers um, that you assume is some sort of way for her to unlock the ship or open the ship. Uh, and then there is a faint crackle um, as uh, like a magical buzz in the air. And she begins speaking into it. Kyrie, my dear, if you wouldn't mind, I know that you're in hiding right now. Get on the guns, would you? We're about to make a very quick exit. Um, and she then begins continuing work on the door. Uh, it is going to be her action to use an item to basically unlock the Twin Star Longbow. Um, but that is going to be her full turn. Um, Rethra, on his turn, moves down to where Sentry uh, flame lanced the... Technically, it'd be sort of around here. Um, and he's going to try and whack the chain as hard as he can. Um, as, you know, he instructed Ayla that he would. Uh, he attacks it once. Uh, the first attack, his normal sort of mundane axe just bounces off the metal. And you see a huge chunk of the axe itself kind of is deflected away. Um, the second attack, as he brings like a long knife down, the same sort of thing. The, the weapon just doesn't seem to be able to break through the, the sturdiness of the iron. Um, and he kind of looks at it and shrugs. Tougher iron than I expected. Might need magic. Uh, which is his go. Uh, finally, the first of the monsters gets to go. <laughs> uh, after you guys have already done work. The the pale uh, robed figure currently hiding beneath its companion as Ayla rips it apart above. Um, pulls out what looks to be like a small uh, red stone. Uh, clutches it in his hand and he's like tell the prince they're here they're here um, as he speaks into it uh, so he will use his sending stone as an action uh, and then as a bonus action he will oh, uh, oh that would be good uh, we well go? no oh, you did you, you have we did. You, you spent you spent uh, one of your recon teams to yeah, uh we protect you for uh, some time we messed the um oh, the towers. Up, didn't we oh a little yeah thing. the yeah. other guy went and did that uh or well i mean maybe but as far as you know you weren't expecting this guy to have a, an individual one on him uh this looks yeah. perhaps to be something you didn't Nine. expect uh yeah. yeah yeah uh but you have some time um as his bonus action he can't actually do anything i thought he might have a bonus action spell but he does not uh, so he will basically just stand up, um, keeping himself close to his companion, um, and try and defend himself uh, when he is attacked. Uh, oh, actually, no, as a bonus action, this is in, I forgot this is in my separate notes. He, after he speaks into the stone, he mutters some word in Infernal, uh, which is, for those of you who speak Infernal, is basically the word activate. And you watch as along the thick iron chains lightning springs up from the ground and courses up and down the whole width of these large metal chains um electrifying them uh you see rethra is blasted by a kind of uh, bolt of lightning which i'll do on his turn um but yeah it looks like anybody who gets too close to these chains will suffer damage um including Ooh. sentry and uh quill at the start of their turn yeah uh yeah the m golden masked figure uh, also stands up and will basically reposition itself um, next to uh, its uh, protected, uh, its its uh, companion and Ayla, and then it will try and chop down on Ayla with its large halberd. Um, uh, three times it does this. So Ayla, the first one is a twenty-two to hit. AC is nineteen, Mark. Nineteen and above. 19 and above. Six points of damage. Uh, half, so three, because you are raging. Um, yeah, the next one also sense. hits. Uh, uh. For 12, so six points of damage. And then the last one is a miss. So these, this halberd kind of comes slamming down three times. Um, but two, one of them, the last one, you just managed to kind of deflect and block. Um, but yeah, the previous two managed to work their way through. This creature, however, the one in the gold mask, looks incredibly injured. Uh, it does not look like it is faring too well with the blows that oh. you've already lain against it, um, as it's barely oh. able to stand. Nova Vija. Uh, can I uh, messenger ring 
um, and shout, Ayla, push the magic guy into the portal! Or hold his head in there, I don't care. One or the other, one of the two, you choose. Um, and then, um, can I energy, uh, actually, uh, two things. Can I Hexblade curse the, uh, the weird magic guy? Uh, sorry, the, the guy in the mask, the weird clockwork dude. And then uh, I'm going to attack him with my energy crossbow. Oh, nice. Um, oh, and stand up as well. I'm going to stand up. So lots of things. Lots of emotional sure. things. Um, so, sorry. Uh, energy crossbow is this. 23 points to hit. Uh, no crit. And then uh, one D10. Plus five, so six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then an additional four points of hex curse damage, which is fifteen points radiant damage. Damn. And that's to the golden mask guy. Sorry, I was yeah, checking golden something. mask boy. Okay, so as the energy ball, uh, this kind of conjured energy blast fires from the crossbow, it slams into the creature with a golden mask, and you just watch as it collapses. Uh, oh. Thin wisps of black smoke uh, emerge from its body and sort of trail up into the air um, as its body just goes lifeless. Okay, uh, so one, but that it... means I heal 16 points of health from my Hexblade Curse. Sure. Nice. I'm guessing it's not humanoid. It is not a humanoid. Okay. Cool. Sadly. Just tuck a cursed tuck spectre Tuck that one away. away. Okay. One day. Uh, anything else, Nova? Any movement? You've got 15 um... feet a bit left. I'm gonna you should stick. Stood up from prone. I'm gonna stick where I am um, and wait. Hmm. I can't really hold an action. Can't. No, I've done it. No. I'll wait. No, you've attacked. See what so. does. Okay. Cool. In that case, the two very large giants will go. Uh, how smart are these things? Ooh, not super smart. Um, so one of them will probably. Now the wall of acid is opaque, right, Trot? Like it's um, it's like solid. They can they yeah. walk through it or? Yes. Uh, uh, that's a good point because you can't really. I don't think they there's can. An, it's there's solid. There's an AC on the wall of ice, so Ooh. I assume it will mm. keep the same properties. But then you so could change it to acid, well. which would change its property. Yeah. So maybe instead of uh, them doing a deck save or whatever to walk through it, they just take the damage walking through it. No, <laughs> they'll still take a deck save. <laughs> let me have a look Why? at the. Let me have a look at the spell. Well, because they still would. Well, actually, really no. Acid. If they walk through it, <laughs> if they walk through it, they wouldn't take. They would. They wouldn't get a saving throw. They just take the damage. Yeah. Um. But it's just where they said. If the wall cuts through a creature's space when it appears, the creature within the area is pushed to one side, and they make a deck saving throw. On a failed save, the creature takes ten d six cold damage. After that, so basically, that only applies when it's first conjured. The wall is then an object and it can't be damaged and thus breached. It has an AC of 12 and 30 hit points per 10 foot section. But it's not its not ice anymore. It's now cold. Ah, oh, here you yeah. go. A creature moving through the sheet of frigid air. So if it gets destroyed, it leaves behind a sheet of frigid air in the space it occupied. A creature moving through the sheet of frigid air for the first time on a turn must make a con saving throw or takes 5d6 cold damage. Okay, so what we'll do is go. if it's a wall of acid, we'll just make it so that the whole wall is now that so it basically counts as if it was the frigid air and it will do 5d6 acid damage if a creature moves through it and fails to save or half damage on a successful one how about that sounds good to me sounds Mark. good okay does it in that case the, both the damage both... or the deck save went from when it was conjured then or was... uh no because it, it didn't cut through their space yeah, Trot specifically had it, lucius had it cut through the chains yeah. so uh it works a bit differently they're behind the chains uh, so they will both move through it because they're both pretty stupid. Um, and I just want to check their reach. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Um, so they will do that. Um, deck saving throw for both of them. This is a minus one. One is a zero. The other one is a five. They both take full damage. So 5d6 damage to both of them. 21. <laughs> that's wow. two sixes 80. there. So that's pretty good. Um, I'll just do the same damage roll for both of them. So that way it's a bit speedier. Um, but they kind of just walk through and this acid just kind of gloops and sloughs off of their pallid bodies as they merge on the other side. And then they begin whirling these large chains uh, around them. Uh, 
Cool. Uh, this one, in fact, will actually finish the rest of its movement. Oh, no, it doesn't need to. So one will target, uh, let's see, probably go for Nova, and then the other one will target... Um, hmm. We really go for Rethra. These things are pretty dumb. Go for the chains. Go for the chains. Why would they attack the chains, Kim? Um, they look threatening. Yeah. If Quill uh, so and one more attack. Getting damage from the lightning on that side. Are they going to get lightning damage on being equidistant? Uh, well, they're not within five feet of the chain. Oh yeah. So <laughs> no. Uh, I so the one to hit Rethra. Uh, the chain. <laughs> flies out of the giant's hand and wraps around uh, Rethra. He is grappled. Uh, he takes a bunch of damage as well. Uh, so it's going to be 10, 15 points. Uh, as you see, this chain sort of smashes against his face. Um, and then he is grappled, and then he is pulled, I believe. Uh, oh, no, he's just grappled. Uh, so the chain is kind of wrapped around him, and then the giant begins swinging the other uh, other side. Nova, same thing towards you. Let's see if it hits. Uh, that is going to be a 26 to hit. Um, yeah, that maybe hit a little bit. That maybe hits. Low damage roll, though. Uh, six, 12 points of bludgeoning damage, and you are grappled. You are res Whilst you are grappled, you are restrained. Um, but he can't attack anybody else while he has you grappled. Um, and so they're just holding on to you, basically. Uh, I need to make a concentration check on my arcane gate. Uh, sure, please do. Uh, DC would be 10. What? Constitution What's saving throw. It's a con saving throw. Uh, plus three. Eighteen. Yeah, you're fine. You maintain concentration on the arcane gate. Uh, that is the two giants go. I need to remember their reaction. Lucius. Uh, I guess I would do the same thing if I cast the spell. I'd make a concentration check on the wall of ice, uh, wall of acid, right? Or was that? Uh, you haven't taken damage? any damage. Yeah. Or if you cast another concentration spell. If you cast another concentration spell, the wall goes completely. Um, okay. In also, sorry, case. one other thing. Just before your turn, um, before you do, you hear a screech um, from above uh, oh, as no. you see one of these vulture-like demons that you've seen flying over the city before uh, screeches and begins plummeting down towards you. Um, nope. No thanks. Uh, no, it does. Well, not towards you specifically, Lucius, um, but it does. It would be flying sort Still of over nope. in this corner. And GBB. Uh, so, so yeah, you see it basically beginning its descent down towards uh, Lucius. Now it's your turn. Right, I'm going to pop out, maintaining this concentration. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to cast Chromatic Orb Acid. Uh, I'm going to use my sorcery points to twin it and hit both mm -hmm. chains at Can level you, four. Does it go? Is it 120 feet? Is that the range on it? 90, and it's within. Uh, technically, it is not. Technically, you are five feet forward. away. You can one, step five feet more, more forward. Yeah, yeah. I'll as long as you that. do that, you're fine. Fifteen. I've moved so far. Then oh, wait, you're attacking 10. the chains. Yeah. Yes, both chains. And okay. Ding dong. Uh, we'll do acid. the acid damage at the end of your turn as well. Twenty-five to hit them. Twenty-nine acid on both. So you have oh. to roll for both targets with twin spells, so that will hit the first one which will make the closest one to you, and then you need to roll again to see if you hit the second one because um, it just 15. adds a second target. So the 15, this is why, because the 15 is not enough, so the 15 the acid orb um, hits, but it's kind of, it hits at an odd angle and the acid ends up spraying behind it rather than over the chain itself but the first one is coated thoroughly by the, the first chromatic orb um, so that one takes then. 29 points of damage is going to be uh, that uh, and then yes I think that's right so the first chain snaps um, and you see oh. the lightning sort of arcs uh, the arc fades as the chain is melted through by this mixture of acid from the orb and the damage it's ta previously taken from Sentry and the Wall of Acid, um, and you just watch as the links just creak and bend and ding, um, and they fly apart as splinters of iron go flying out in every direction. Um, Eight points of dichromancy uh, yeah. on the unbroken chain. Oh cool. wait, it's thirty feet. Uh, isn't it? Range? Yeah, I was going to say thirty feet of range uh, on that. I will hit the closest big boy. 
to me. Closest big boy? Sure. This one. And that was how much? Eight? Yes. Acid. Eight points. So you, you pull up this conjured uh, spike of orange acid, fling it in the giant's direction as it splashes over one of its armored arms. Um, do you want to roll 5d6 more acid for me as well for the wall? Because um, that's still in effect. Hell yeah. Here I go. Look at me go. It's going to be max damage. 16. Um, seven, 16? 17. Hmm. 17. Sure. Uh, so the wall of acid continues what? eating away at the <laughs> secondary chain in the background um, as this all takes place. Uh, What's the matter, Tom? Very, very good round. Any other movement? Oh, no. Looking for ones. Oh, uh, that I'm going to move back behind the pipe. <laughs> sure. Uh, so uh, I was after you're here, I think. Five, 10, seeing you cast yeah. this acid, you hear this screech from this a vulture-like creature as it's now its proper go. Uh, ah! Mage! I must deal with the mage, you stupid giants! Uh, and it flies down 60 feet. 5, 10, 15, 20, 20, 20. <laughs> oh. Oh, he hit the... Uh, it, fly, it flies <laughs> over the wall uh, as it is a flying creature. Um, and it will basically... It, it kind of hovers about just five feet uh, uh, above you, Lucius. And it will rake down with its beak and its talons. Um, Got to or actually, no, what did it do? Uh, no, it won't attack you, actually. Instead, it will uh, open its kind of big beak uh, mouth and erupting from it... Um, is this terrible screeching sound. Uh, each creature within 20 feet. Ah. Let me just check. 5, 10, 15, 20. Quill, Sentry, Rethra, and Lucius must all make oh. a constitution saving throw. Um, Quill, you'll get the bonus from Sentry's aura. Yeah. Uh, how much of a bonus? Three. Plus three. Uh, plus three. Cool. Okay. So, Rethra will be... 17. Um, Lucius, you need to make this as well. I did. 21. Oh, you did. Sorry, yeah, 21. Uh, so, Quill total? Uh, 16 total. Sentry? 22. Okay, oh. and then Rethra got a 17. So, you all managed to hold your ears and kind of keep your teeth, you know, clamped together as this screech echoes in your mind, threatening to overwhelm it, but you manage to resist its effects um, as you do so. Whew. Keep that wall of acid up. Yeah. Sure. Uh, Ayla. Hello. Um, doing what Nova asked me to do, I'm going to push... Sure. ...person... <laughs> this mage. ...into the portal. Yeah. Close. Strength check? <laughs> just roll. Yeah, just pure strength, but you have advantage because you're raging. I will roll. Yeah, this guy's going in. I rolled a one. Uh, and he's a mage. <laughs> Oh, you don't okay. even need to finish rolling, Katie. Dunk. Um, okay. You just grab, like, do you just like grab him that. by his robes and throw him in, like pick him up and just throw him through the portal? See ya. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> basically, just... the the way that this would be is you'd basically be grappling him, moving him into the portal, and then push it and then letting him go. Basically, just like you um, shouldn't have just you shouldn't have used the stone man. Just <laughs> sure. In he goes. And then. Uh, um, you throw him, and the last thing you see through the portal is him, like, scrabbling for your arm, like he's trying to keep hold of you, and you just throw him. And he just, Hans Gruber style, <laughs> is, like, flying through the air. The only Amazing. thing I'm going to check and see awesome. if is he has he got any reaction spells that he could do to get himself out of this. I don't think he does. So this was a horizontal portal, portal, right? He has to go up first, and then over around the side of the portal. No, because the other portal was, like... So, uh, Nova and Thalia went in downwards. This portal yeah. was sideways. They came out of it like that. So he goes in it, and then he'd fall down. Um, yeah, so cool. Yeah, <laughs> it's like Paul. Don't take. Don't it, take works. A it works. Don't take it, 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 it works. I'm not taking a moment. It works. It works. It happens. Just keeps yep. going in and out of the portal. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's, it's like one of those punching dolls that keeps coming back. <laughs> and then I uh, shut it on. Him. I think you can cancel a concentration spell at any time, so yeah, sure. Um, Sweet. Nice. Good job. I like how this closes. Is going. Can I... No, I'm not going to be. I was going to be really horrible. 
and like shut I mean, it when he's be. halfway through. So oh I'm gonna rule right now, Kim, because the spell doesn't have that. You cannot close the portal no, if another no, creature is halfway in it, I right? Because there is no rules for that. I have genuinely <laughs> been sat here for the last turn, though, being, how dark is Nova gonna be right now? <laughs> how dark, yeah, you how dark be. Nova is, I, no, no. the spell wouldn't work it's that fine. way because it, it would be fine. too overpowered if it was. It's fine, um, baby. Yeah. But let's uh, just imagine. Sentry. Does, that count, as two, does oh. that count as two attacks? Sorry. Or does that count no, as um, one attack? That counts as your action. It counts as your action, I would say. Okay. To, like, pick him up Damn and it. throw him through um, a portal. I mean, you did just completely eliminate one creature yeah, um, from the fight. Fair. I'm gonna. But you still have movement move... and a bonus action. Uh, well, I'm just gonna move over here. Okay. Also, I'm grappled. near the for for next next touring, probably next bit. Sentry. Yeah. Uh, Sentry. Um... Uh, the lightning is not there because the chain is broken, so you don't have to worry about awesome. that. Oh, cool. Good. I'm going to move 5, 10, uh, 15 up to here, and then I would mm -hmm. like to do turn the Faithless so I can try and target the uh, Vulture creature and the big boy over mm -hmm. here, if possible. Uh, so tell me, how does turn the Faithless work? So um, you present your holy symbol. Each Fey or Fiend within 30 feet of you can, that can hear you makes a whiz saving throw. On a failure, the creature's turn for one minute or until it takes damage. Okay, so this will only work on the Vrock, the Vulture creature. It won't work on the Okay, Vrock. cool. Alrighty. The Vulture rolled a six. Important. Okay. Oh, so you're going to port yes. it? Yes. Alright. Yeah. Uh, so let me just check one thing. I'm worried this dude has, like, mega high wisdom. <laughs> so there's this interesting thing with Portent, because this thing has advantage on saves against spells or other magical effects. Portent's rule, the word, the way that Portent is worded is it replaces the roll. It doesn't Places specify the whether, roll. which is how I'm going to rule it. Yeah, it's not one of the I, rules. I think that is it's what it basically says. it replaces the final one. Um, so yeah, okay. So it turns the creature for a minute, right? Which means it has to move away from yeah. you um, as much as on its turn, basically. And it has disadvantage yeah. on attacks. Uh, actually, no, that's a different thing. I'm thinking of frightened again. I always get frightened and turned uh, mixed up. Uh, I will have a read of uh, that. Um, but yeah, cool. Hmm. It does say That's you nice. replace a role in this way. Oh, Tommy. Replace a role, eh? I was, um, I was sure okay. it was the final role, is what it... Uh, the final well, the way that, check is what it replaced. Because, yeah, because the way that advantage is, is you roll twice, take the highest result, and then I'm guessing you replace that result with the portent, is how it would be worded. Um, is how it'd be intended. So, it would be that. Yeah. Um, sure. Blah, 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 blah. I just distracted turn by standing behind right? sentry. Yeah. A turned creature must spend its turn trying to move as far away from you as it can, and it can't willingly move to a space within 30 feet of you. It also can't take reactions. Um, okay, so for its action, it can only use the dash action or try to escape from an effect that prevents it from moving. If there's nowhere to run, the creature can use the dodge action. So basically, for a minute, um, does it get an extra saving throw? Uh, or until it takes damage. So if it takes any damage, it will also break this effect, but otherwise it has to spend its whole turn just running away. Uh, from it you. flies into a wall. Uh, dunk. Uh, anything else, Sentry? <laughs> so, a little bit of movement, um, action. I'd like to use the rest of my movement just to move back up to Quill, if that's okay. Oh, yeah. the final that 15. Protection, protection aura. Yeah. Um, cool. Quillek. You're the best. Uh, and with that action, I'm going to reward you with a magic weapon, a holy weapon. Um, so, you get an what? extra 2d8 oh. uh, on your attack. Uh, the silence is gone. I don't think that really matters. Um, sure. It would have mattered yeah, if next... that mage hadn't had a personal sending stone. Exactly. Um, um, cell phone. Yeah. So yeah. 2d8 damage passed for you. Enjoy. Thank you. Got Anything down. else, Tom? Uh, why does it... Why does uh, Holy Weapon have a con 17 on it? Why is that? Uh, I read the spell. Oh, for when I explode it, I can choose to explode it as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. And also, I will, I will sacred flame this giant. Um, so he makes a deck can save. You, is holy weapon a bonus action or an action? It's a bonus action. Okay. Yeah. In that case, yeah, you can sacred flame uh, the big giant. Uh, yeah, big giant boy. Uh, that is going to destroy be the weapon. Nine. 
No, it doesn't. No. Oh, okay. Perfect. It explodes so the magical three, aura around it. 3d8 plus 4 plus 5. So 22 damage with a cantrip. Hello. Damn. Welcome to the world of like, high levels. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, so oh, the uh, sacred flame launches out and you see the giant kind of ring brings its hand up uh, as it does so, uh, blinded temporarily uh, by this the flame that you have conjured uh, from it. Anything else, Quillek? Uh That's me. I'm going to stay hiding behind Sentry Shield. And, well, Sentry okay. is my shield, and she has a shield. <laughs> cool. Uh, <laughs> on Thalia's turn, the doors to the Twin Star open, um, and she runs inside to begin prepping the ship. Uh, you can hear her calling out, and you begin to see one of the arcane lance turrets on the uh, ship begins rotating around. It can't point down into this combat, but instead you see it pointing up into the sky where many more of those vulture creatures and other flying enemies are beginning to descend down um, as they come, as they as they begin to oh, poor guys. Uh, converge on your position. Um, oh. uh, Rethra is currently messy. restrained. He's going to try and break free. F fails to do so. You can see him like ah, struggling on these chains. He can't move. He's not in range to attack. So Rethra unfortunately can do nothing. Um, he's been thrown out of a portal window like Hans Gruber. That guy is dead. <laughs> Nova Vija. Okay, uh, I know you've rolled this before, but I need you to remind me. Because I'm grappled, uh, can I cast uh, a somatic, a verbal and somatic spell? Yeah, you can. You're just Your speed is zero. You can't move, basically. Um, but I can cast This is like the, the chain's like wrapped around your legs. I'm, yeah, I'm going to allow you to. If somebody specifically was trying to prevent you from spell casting i'd probably say you can't do anything like with your hands but you could still speak unless they gag you uh this giant hasn't done that it's literally just wrapped a chain around you enough to give you enough to wriggle a spell out if you need to in which case can i cast charm person on both giants please you can it fails okay <laughs> it, they, they, so are, they are not the giants... humanoids they are not humanoids both... oh, so okay. it doesn't affect them so yeah. sorry, uh, they are technically giants and therefore Poop monsters. in my not mouth humanoids. hole. Okay, that was yeah. going to be my clutch. Sorry, right? that's it. <laughs> it was a pretty. That was clever, but no. it doesn't work that way. What? What? I'm going no on that one. <laughs> what? What do you mean no? Poop, poop in my mouth hole. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. I thought you were more in the other one. No, okay. All right. Um, right okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, so that's action. So, that so you conjure the magic. The magic surges out, but else? doesn't take any effect. I can't cast another spell, can I? Um, you... I cast... No. Cantrip? Okay. You can't. Uh, if the, You can cast a cantrip as a bonus action, I've technically, got no yes. Bonus, I've got no bonus action cantrips. No. Um, Almost, there aren't any, I think. It's only like very specific circumstances, yeah. like the Grave Cleric. Uh, Shillelagh? <laughs> is Shillelagh a bonus that. action? Can I wriggle? It is, can I wriggle? yeah. Can I try and get out? Can no, I, your can action was to cast a spell. No. Okay. That's it. I'm dead then. Bye. Carry on. Okay, right. Um, yeah, and and in fact, on your turn, the two giants will kind of uh, tighten the the chains and kind of lash them at you and Rethra again. Um, oh, actually, I think that yes. the one fighting Rethra, the rock, did give it an order. Uh, it will stop grappling Rethra, and it will stomp, 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 stomp. No, the chain's broken. No, that chain's dead. Chain's broken. That no chain's more le lightning. Done, so um you broke it in fact um so it stops grappling rethra and it will instead go for lucius uh because the rock specifically commanded it to uh the one pipe. against nova that is going to be a 24 to hit um yeah maybe. it had advantage i'll just see if it gets a crit it doesn't uh that's going to be 17 points of bludgeoning damage um as the chain tightens you can uh, kind of squeeze you tighter um as it another end whips around and then that is going to be 27 to hit lucius I'm behind a big old pipe. You are, so it's 10, ten feet, feet tall. This thing has got a reach of 20 feet, though. It could probably whip the chain up and over. It's also huge, so it's taller than the wall. So it can just whip yeah. down. Um, this thing's like yeah, 15, feet 16 feet tall. So we get cover it can... no. I'll give you cover. Um, five plus five AC. I don't think it's nice. going to help. Okay. I mean, that's three quarters cover. Uh, it just yeah. doesn't help you, unfortunately. Um, okay. 
So that's going to be 15, 16 points of bludgeoning damage, and you are grappled. And I need you to make a constitution saving throw for the wall. 10. The wall disappears as this chain <laughs> whips round one of your arms. Your neck is all being grabbed by this giant as it's trying to pull Jesus. you uh, across this chain. Yeah, um, Hoist you uh, towards it. Uh, as it does so. Um, as right, so the two oh, giants yeah. go. Lucius, it is your turn. You are grappled and restrained. Uh, I would like to try and break free of that. Oh, that's right, actually. The DC the DC would have been 10. So actually, you succeeded. Um, oh. Very well. Um, yeah, oh. for some reason, I had it in my head as 13, but it wasn't. It was DC 10. Um, Falls back. That's good. Yes. Nice. Whoop. Uh, so... I would like Quick to break retcon. three. Is that a strength Yep, so that is save? a... Uh, escape DCs, so it can be athletics or acrobatics. Very well. Acrobatics is, is an eight. You are not free. Uh, so you spend your action wriggling, trying to uh, get yourself free, but nothing, nothing happens, I'm afraid. Can I move within the confines nope. of the Your speed chain? is zero. Nope, your speed is zero whilst you are restrained. Okay, so I can't pivot. <laughs> you can turn around, but not move in the sense of D&D &D moving, no. You can All sort right. of pivot and things like that, but that's about it. Do I get to, like, do a bonus action barrier ring, or am I too grappled for that? You can you can, act you can activate the barrier ring as a bonus action. Nice, I'll do that. <laughs> so plus two to AC as you summon this spectral shield um, and at the, at the end of your turn can you roll 5d6 for the wall of acid please certainly can we need to get to the ship break the chains <laughs> break the chains what a leader Captain <laughs> Helena. 17 <laughs> 18 actually 18 is it enough that is not no, the acid melts away at the chain, but not enough to break it fully. Um, Does that count as a... No, it doesn't count as dichromancy, because it was when it was cast. No. Yeah, exactly. Yep, you've got All it. Right. Um, okay, the Vrock on its turn, uh, exactly what Sentry has made it do, flies away! <laughs> good. Good. Yeah, it is turned. Yeah, literally a good combo wombo there with the portent and the, the turn the faithless. As yeah, it Please sees the golden light of the 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 prime matrix the golden light of it blares and it just <laughs> and flies away ah it burns it burns as it flies up oh. and as far away and as fast as it can away from sentry nice. um that's oh. its whole turn uh ayla um i would like to move up to the chain and mm -hmm. I would like to recklessly attack it twice, please. Sure. So, uh, when you get within five feet, you're going to take ten points of lightning. You're resistant to lightning, half though, aren't you? Half that to five. Yeah. You half that to five. Zap. And then every you hit it twice and make an attack roll. Um, you attack each, make each attack individually. Uh, so sixteen plus nine. That's a hit. Will that hit? Yep, I'll hit. See if you and get And 15 plus 9. Yeah, both I've of those were hit. That's, I've okay. recklessly. Each, um, each, for each attack, you also get blasted by lightning as your weapon connects the lightning sort of arcs down your body. Um, so it's going to be 7, so half that to 3 for the first one. And then 10, half to 5 for the, the second one. Um, and yeah, you feel this lightning arc so... through your body, but you flex and your tattoos glow and your own lightning aura channels it away, some of it away. Um, you can still feel that power rippling through you, fueling your rage. So the first one is a 12 points of damage, and the second one is damage. 13 points of damage. I don't know if it will take lightning damage. Because <laughs> it's it will not take lightning damage whilst this thing is active. No, the lightning damage does nothing. Also, you notice that because you're attacking it with a hammer, some of this the the damage you're doing um, doesn't seem to be uh, as effective either. 
But it's a magical uh, hammer. It is a magical hammer, but <laughs> that does not seem to affect these chains. It's the blood, the the fact that you're smashing a chain with a blunt object, um, and these chains are made from some sort of infernal iron, uh, seem to be giving it some protection. I will say over the messenger ring, need magic on this chain, please, somebody. Uh, as you're next to the I bubbling will... wall of acid. Blah, 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 blah. I will step <laughs> back from. Sure. The uh, lightning. Because he's sure. he's currently um, grappling Nova. He's anyway. got Nova. Yeah. Uh, Sentry. I'm helping. <laughs> I'm gonna um, step up to the giant over here, attacking Lucius, and I'm gonna wail on this bad boy. Cebu play. Whirlwind. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Flare uh, the so arms. 20 to hit for the first one. Uh, yeah, that will hit. Awesome. So I'm going to use my level 2 Divine Smite and the 2d8 Holy Weapon that Quill gave me. Nice. So oh my that's god. Uh, nice. 7d8. <laughs> Five. <laughs> Six, destroy it. Seven. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. So the 5d8, so just to check, the 5d8 is your weapon plus the second level divine smite. The 2d8 is the holy weapon damage on top. Yep. Then I got a. Plus Add the d4 five for that. Her Majesty's Rose and then plus and five to that. So we're looking at 27 plus uh, 8, which is 35. 35. Plus 2, 37. Plus another five damage, 42. so forty-two points of damage. Forty-two, the Ooh. magic number, meaning of life. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah. You watch as this barbed the Her Majesty's rose, this longsword sprouts these metal thorns, but is also just blazing with golden light and swirls of feathers around it. And as it strikes, you just see the giant for the first time. <sighs> As this great scorching rend of a wound goes up its body. I thought it was like Street like Fighter. It was just. <laughs> that's, that's just. Oh no! But then that's the second one. attack, uh, kind of moving with the oh, momentum of it. Actually, no, I don't think it'll work. I don't think it will happen. Uh, it doesn't matter. I know what? it happens anyway. It's fine. I was going to do my driven to purpose, but I already know the outcome, so it's fine. Don't worry I mean, about it. I mean, it would give oh, a D4. Um, yeah, yeah, so yeah. So you, you lunge forward to strike, but that momentum kind of carries you a bit too far forward, and you hear Lucius kind of like, eh, get the chains, and you're momentarily distracted at this kind of chain holding your friend, um, and that just causes the attack to slightly go wide uh, as you attempt to strike. Uh, okay, Quillek ad Kalar. Um, right, I mean, I want to kind of get over this side of the chain, so 510... 15, 20, and I want to go over the chain away from the, that Can't one giant away. Mm -hmm. uh, to get a little closer. Um, is there anything I can do to... Can I, like, hit the chain that he's using to grapple Lucius, or is there anything I can do you, to help you, Lucius you, get out? I mean, you, um, I mean, from where you currently are, you tell me, like, you can try and attack the chain. It's very difficult to hit a weapon like that, and, you know, you're not a trained fighter at like disarming opponents and things like that you could certainly but try um if you have another I spell that can like help it. lucius you tell me i don't need to do it i can just use magic missile and just hit his hand and the missiles will just hit his hand guaranteed right <laughs> well no they'll hit him guaranteed but remember hit points uh, don't okay. necessarily you know represent physical harm hit points can be like luck stamina you know he might move out the way this is why there's not a cold shot mechanic in D, &D because hit points are this very uh, ephemeral thing also, yeah. I could just, as the monsters, be like, I'm going to aim for Quill's head. Oh, I chop his head off. Oh, I'm going to aim for <laughs> Quill's legs. Oh, there go his legs. You know, I mean, th there's a reason that Quill's shots don't really work. <laughs> oh, that just happens because uh, of injury checks. Yeah, fine. I'll just do a... Uh, you I'll could just do a guy missile ball. the chain he's holding to try and damage the chain he's holding. Um, or the chain um, holding the ship. What? Or the chain holding the ship. That might be yeah, cool. I should probably do that instead. I'll do a uh, healing word that is a range of something. 60 uh, feet. 60 feet? I'll, yeah, 60 feet. I'll cast that on Lucius. Thank That's you. A bonus action to do yeah, that. And I'll do that everyone. at level 5,000. Yeah. Nice. Um, I'll do that at level 3. So you get 3d4 healing, I believe. Nice. Uh, plus 
Plus like That's a lot. Oh, Plus cute. like yeah, four thousand again. So yeah, Plus you're five. fully healed. So fifteen. Plus five. Fifteen healed. Pretty Wait. good. Nice. Who are you healing? Lucius. Yeah. Lucius. Yeah. That's almost yeah. max. I thought you said Katie there. Yeah. I was like, why are you healing me? No. <laughs> I got confused. Uh, and then, yeah, I heard, I'll, 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 heard something. I'll sacred flame uh, within range. I'll sacred flame the chain where it's weakest. Um, uh, so sure. Dex save, which it yeah, fails. Have, I guess. 3d8 yeah. plus 5. Radiant damage, yeah. Four. <sighs> yeah. Damn. Man, sacred flame With... is kick ass all of a sudden. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like what. High level spells. The high level spells aren't really about damage. They're more about doing cool things. Uh, cantrips get pretty pretty strong. Um, also, you just rolled very high on that damage roll. Yeah, I know. That's what I mean. Yeah, the yeah, last couple average. of times I tried it, with yeah. that, Starbuck. the holy light, the radiant energy that you cast from your hand uh, strikes through, and where the chain has been weakened by Ayla's hammer blows and the acid, you watch as it fragments and splinters. <laughs> Uh, and the chain snaps, uh, freeing uh, the twin star longbow. Still has changed, chains attached to its hull, but they are no longer tethered to the ground, um, allowing oh. the ship to move free. Uh, yeah, could be an issue. Giving you a moment, a uh, potential chance to break away uh, and free yourself. You see the engines thrum and come to life. The arcane lances overhead. You hear a cacophonous blast of energy as you see one of these vulture-like creatures just disintegrated midair by the uh, ship's uh, cannons. Um, but you blood. can see many more yes, flying creatures beginning to descend down towards you. Uh, Rethra, uh, caught in the middle of a battle here, will try and strike at the injured giant. Um, the first attack will unfortunately miss. Second attack will miss. Uh, Two fours in a row there. So he just tries to wail wow. on the giant's armored form, but the weapons just don't quite pierce through or the blows don't uh, seem to gain any real purchase um, as it rains down back. on him. Uh, Nova Vija. Um, so I would like to cast a far step on myself, which is a bonus sure. action. And it means I can teleport up to 60 feet uh, to an unoccupied space. And I can keep doing it um, every bonus action. Um, sure. Damn. Is that your? So, have you got one more spell slot left? Uh, that was my last spell slot. That was your last so one. Okay. I, yeah, the first. Yep. You got sixty feet. First one I cast last time. You yeah, are okay, no so longer gonna, restrained. Uh, so I'm gonna bam. I'm probably actually gonna stay kind of close to the ship. Um, so I'm just gonna bam sure. to try and get out of the the giant's um chain. So I'm just no longer restrained. Uh, no longer grappled. Yeah, yeah. You can just literally bam um, five feet if you want. And then can I, in fact, I'm going to go closer up to the gangway. Um, so I'm kind of as far up the gangway as I can be. And then yeah, I would right, like right by to, the door, basically. Yeah, Eldritch Blast, the giant that is holding Lucius. So um, sure. the, the one on the right. Uh, so that is uh, D20 plus 9. Uh, it's 11 to hit. That's not enough. It glances off no. the back of his armor. Uh, kind of like Rethra, you kind of try and take aim, but this thing's covered in this thick iron plating made of very similar metal to the chains themselves, and the blast just uh, rockets off to the side. Uh, I believe you have some more blasts. Uh, oh, it's three beams, isn't it? It's three beams, yeah. Isn't it's it? not It's not Wait, more damage it? per beam. It's three attacks. Okay. Okay. No, nope, it's uh, individual attacks. Nice. Yeah, nice. Uh, I rolled a natural one on the second one. <laughs> um, nice. That also you is deflected one. by the creature's armor, but the third the one does one hit. Hits. Yeah, the last one Five does indeed hit. Five <laughs> points. So you see, as it kind of stumbles, um, very heavily injured. You can see blood pouring from beneath the armor, but it's still holding tight, mindlessly listening to this order. You can see that it doesn't. You know, it's kind of got this big metal helmet that covers its eyes, like just these porphyrated vents that it seems to see through. Uh, and you just hear this like, as it stumbles from these injuries. Um, but that's it, I believe. Yes? Yes, me. Okay. Uh, the giants go, in its last kind of le following the orders that it's been given, this mindless giant will continue to attack Lucius um, uh, as it does so with advantage because he is restrained. Uh, that is going to be 17 plus 9. That's going to hit Lucius, uh, even with cover in the barrier ring, I think. That's going to be 26 
Um, scrapes in, yeah. It's going to be nine. That's going to be 14 points of bludgeoning damage. Um, okay. So like, you kind of feel yourself like yanked forward again, slamming into the metal wall. Um, and a concentration saving throw, please. Concentration save. 14 this time. Success. The wall of acid still remains. Um, oh, nice. Might just drop it anyway. You could do. Uh, you absolutely could. Um, this giant, Ayla, you will get an attack of opportunity. So it's going to move away from you. So it can get that little bird. It wants the oh, bird. No. The bird is the word. <laughs> uh, I rolled a 19 plus 9. Damn it, I was That's so close to a crit. Hit. That was very um, close. Uh, 9 Critical points crit. of damage. One, isn't it? 9 points. Critical critical is... it once with a hammer. But I... Yeah, right. it makes it more damaging. It makes it more damaging. It doesn't yeah. increase the chance. Um, yeah, Nova yeah. has the thing which helps her crit more uh, with 19s. Uh, and then this chain whips out towards uh, Quillock uh, for 15 Whoa. to hit. I don't believe that's a hit. Uh, no! <laughs> Is it a hit? Oh, it's 16. No, I can see it no. there. So, yeah, you 16, just managed I'm to good. kind of throw yourself to the side as this chain slams down into the uh, black tar-like uh, material, uh, the hardened tar uh, beneath you, uh, cracking it oh. and splintering it. Ah, um, we? At the top of the next turn, you begin to see, uh, again, some more creatures descending down. Mm. Some of them are being blasted by Kyrie, um, but one of them does manage to get through. This appears to be, uh, the best way to describe it would be some sort of weird amalgamation. A, a large bird-like creature with antler-like horns, large colored wings, but big uh, clawed feet. Um, and on its back in a large black leather saddle appears to be a, uh, an armored knight with a lance, um, black and red armor gleaming with symbols of Graz uh, as they begin Ooh. to fly down. Oh, uh, but shit. Lucius, it's your turn first. Oh, no. <sighs> All right. Well, I can't cast spells while grappled, right? Yeah, you can. Yeah, I've already said, yeah, as long as I like it's not purposely trying to stop you spell casting, which these guys aren't. Right, so I've got a 20-foot sphere spell going on here, and I want to hit both giants without hitting anybody else. And it's Lucius, it's Luscious Light! Woo! Yeah! That's it. Oh my god. Look at that! Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's some Tetris That's right perfect. there. Perfect. There you go. <laughs> Thank you very much. So, the air is difficult terrain. Uh, any creature that starts its turn there takes 2d6, cold. Uh, and then anyone that ends their turn there takes a deck saving throw and takes 2d6 if they fail. Uh, it's sure. also blinding. Yeah, that area is completely dark and covered. Yeah. Okay. That it? Um, I'm, I can't move because I'm grappled. Uh, I will just insist that everyone gets on the ship. Okay. And... Do I drop the wall of acid? Uh, well, is um, Lucius's Luscious Light a concentration spell? I believe it is. Yes, it is. So it will drop. So the wall goes anyway. Bye -bye. So pfft, the wall vanishes as this new sphere of blue and orange light, um, blindingly bright, fills the space. Uh, Get out of that's here, it. Everyone. Oh, Ayla. Uh, I will move towards the ship um mm -hmm. no i won't i will move to here and i will throw my my hammer through both giants mm, nice Damn. i will throw okay. the hammer sure. and aim at the yeah, second because you've had a you've had a long rest so yeah yep. so um as you throw the hammer it transforms into a bolt of lightning passing through cool. the first giant and then it reforms into a hammer not that anybody can see it as it does so inside the uh the sphere of luscious light you will technically have disadvantage on the attack against the second giant as there is a giant 20 foot sphere of blinding light between you so you technically can't see it um so you will have oh. disadvantage on that one really oh yeah okay, yeah well, it's blocking line of sight then that's 11, well, because I would have rolled a 24. That's an 11. Well, so the first giant takes the full blast of the lightning, 
Um, so can yeah, I reckless it does, it attack takes... to cancel that out? You could, yes. So it's a flat. Can yeah. I take my sixteen plus nine then? I'll reckless it. You can. Normally, you should say it before. How about you roll again for me? I know, so but you, you didn't say attack, I had disadvantage but... before I rolled, so I didn't know. All oh, right, okay. Well, I, 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 I all right, yeah, through. sure. In that case, fine. Yeah, we'll take the second roll. Then. Um, so the first giant fails its save, and then you get full damage against the second one. So yes. But as, um, as, in the future, do like try not to roll the attacks. Just give me a second if there's any circumstances, because you should reckless before you announce the attack. Because if you reckless first, that affects all the rest of your attacks that round. So it's something you should uh, you should have you should announce before you make any attacks. Um, just give me a second so... in case there are circumstances. So I rolled full die. I rolled ten on my dice, so ten plus eight, so that's eighteen hammer damage. To the one, on the, to the second, second on one. The one holding Lucius, and, uh-huh. then, and then the forty-six lightning. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eight, twelve on that. Twelve lightning damage. So you watch take. as. The hammer transforms into a bolt of lightning. It arcs through the body of the first giant who kind of like... And then you just see nothing as this giant sphere of orange and blue light dominates the space. But you hear like the sound of metal cracking. And then you just wait as Lucius, you feel the chain go slack and you are no longer grappled. Um, As the second giant is dead. Yeah. And then oh. you wait for a second, Ayla, and then the hammer flies back to the hand. Okay. Um, nice. So I think I've done two, three. And then can I use my remaining little bit of movement to just get? Sure. You start getting I'm up done. Into the gangway. Okay. I'm done. Uh, sentry. Um, cool. I'm going to um, move uh, to start moving towards the ships. Five, ten. 15, Just remember, the chain is uh, uh, 10 feet to cross the chain. 10 feet, so that's 20 there. Okay. So, yeah, I'll, I'll move to want. there. You can get. Okay, um, sure. Yeah, that's, that's, that's good for me. Uh, anything else? Action, bonus uh, action? No, that's it. That's good. Or should I dash? Mm, no, no. I mean, I'll you might there. as well. Okay, all right, sure. Uh, Quillic. Yeah. Uh, I'm fully prepared for this to fail, but I want to cast Entangle on the Giants. Uh, is it a strength save? It's a strength save. How is it? Yeah. Uh, Crazy things Yeah, these guys look pretty strong. That's a 20. Um, unnatural, but just 20 straight up. Cool. So for the rest of my turn, I'm going to go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. I'm going to go uh, in front of um, Captain Thalia. <laughs> She's actually on the, uh, she's on... actually on the ship. She's technically off the ship entirely. So, oh right. Well, in that case, I'll, I'll sort of go yeah. onto the gangway. Yeah. Um, oh. And Tangle is a full action. So with my bonus action, as a point, uh, Tom. Gonna... As a point, Tom, you were here, right? Yeah. Oh, I wouldn't have been able to see so it, right? Have... Well, no. You you can't just jump up onto the gangway from here. You'd have to come down oh. and around because it is like a, a diagonal, basically. So, mm. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. You can get to about there. So, you're just at the, the tip of the um, gangway. Oh, and he's With blind, so he can't opportunity attack me, right? Um, Technically, he can. He has disadvantage to do it. So, Sure, let him do it. Uh, that's going to be 8 plus 9, 17. Ah, dang. Yeah, that'll yeah. hit. <laughs> Oh, that's a really bad damage roll as well. 16, 21 points of bludgeoning damage. Oh, as you are. the sword out of Krampus's light. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Sorry. Ow. He aimed for my head. He said he yeah, wouldn't. he just kind of swings the... Sen- sensing some sort of movement, he's just like... Rah! Whips it around. Just clacks. Sounds like dinner. <laughs> fried chicken. Um, <laughs> as you dash like past. Fried chicken. Sure. Uh, Rethra, seeing everybody sort of begin to make their way round, will kind of do the same. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, and then he will dash. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Um, he's still within the giant's uh, range, but the giant's also reused its reaction this turn. Uh, then the well, mounted fellow will begin to swoop in and 
he will swoop in for the only target he can really see. So spurring his mount on, you watch as he charges forward with this lance that erupts into flame as he does so. Um, oh. That's going to be a uh, oh, 13 to hit on the first attack, which is just going to be enough to hit uh, Rethra with his low AC. So that's going to be... 8... 10 points of damage um, and then half of fire damage. Uh, so not too bad. Um, but you can still see the lance kind of strikes down and then he makes a second attack with his lance, but that one does not hit. Rethra manages to parry it aside with one of his blows as this flaming lance uh, screeches past. Um, Nova Vija. Um, can I... Um... Yeah, I'm going to Eldritch Blast the Giant. I think I'm going to keep working on that guy. Um, so that is three hits. So first one, 24. Uh, second one is a 10, natural one with a 10. And the third one is a 12. Jesus Christ. The 24 will hit, the 12 does not. It's another five points. Feel blessed. Saw some. <laughs> some. Five points. Um, yeah, can I... Were you striking at the one, uh, the remaining giant? The yeah, giant. you can still see him, actually. Yeah, yeah big giant one. boy. See. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, so the beam well, the strikes him. Dead, <laughs> yeah, the um, other one is dead. I guess, am I blocking the, the doorway if I'm standing here? Uh, no, there's a, people can move around you. There's another another way yeah. into it, so. Yeah. Um, Just for the lols, I'm going to bamf backwards with far step and then, like... <laughs> Just, just so I'm out of the way, like, I get cover in the ship. Um, so, yeah, if you could just consider me bamfed backwards. Sure, well, into the actual ship interior itself. Into the ship, yeah, yeah. Sure, yeah. Could just walk, That's but really I've got good. a fast step engaged, so why not? Goodness <laughs> sake. I don't know why it does this, but I sometimes have a problem where all of my chrome windows go black for a moment, and then roll 20 oh, really? doesn't reload. Yeah. This is one of the things I don't like about playing online. Uh, after Nova, um, the creature, the mount of the knight, uh, will make two uh, a bunch of attacks against Rethra as well, as it is the only target within range. Um, one gore and one talon attack. Uh, the first one will hit. Uh, so will the second one. Uh, this is a... uh, nine points of damage uh, to Rethra, and then another uh, seven points, so 16 points total. You can see he's being torn up as he's making a uh, a dash towards the uh, ship itself. Just this creature is clawing him in the back, and he's starting to bleed now from several of these wounds um, pouring down his back. Uh, the last remaining giant, at the start of its turn, it takes damage, Trot, yes? Uh, so, if it is in it, yes. It's yep, a which key. it is. Um, so, here we go. So, if they start the turn, it's 2d6, and if they end, it's turn it's 2d6 acid so it didn't start there ding dong uh, it did start there it does start there yeah 2d6 uh, I thought uh, it was 8 at the... points oh that would be cold damage yep and if it so ends it takes its that cold there, it's a deck it probably throw. won't end its turn there because it's going to do this it's going to kind of go right up to me step over Yikes. Um, right. oh right. up to me yeah I mean it can basically move here and technically it's partially in it but it wouldn't really be blinded anymore uh, no but it would probably take the acid if it fails its deck save yeah and it kind of doesn't want to do that because that's painful so it will step over Rethra and will stand on the side um, and yeah it will try and lash at the weaker looking target which is Quillock um, uh, that is going to be a 20 to hit you Quillock uh, I'll use a reaction on that one. Yeah, I'll and shield that one, it. That's twenty-one AC. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So yeah, you kind of conjure the shield, and as the the chain comes slamming down, it's bounced away by this barrier of arcane force. Um. As you do so. Yeah. yeah. Uh. And that is the last thing that. in this turn. And as just before we continue the last turn, and before we take a little break, uh, the sky across Zelatar City begins to grow dark. And you can hear this kind of building primal scream is beginning to kind of pick up on the wind. 
almost echoing around you. You look and catching kind of glimpses in the polished surface of the pipes, you see this obsidian face twisted into anger, these horns kind of spiraling black, um, uh, and you just see this screaming, howling fla- face. Where are they? I will find you, and I will destroy you. These paltry illusions cannot save you from me. And that's where we're going to take a break. Shit. Oh, the, time, the time limit has begun. <laughs> time to go. Time to go. Yeah. Time to go, boys. Mm-hmm. He doesn't he, like he paltry illusions. Him. I can stay at the front then. He doesn't care. Get it? <laughs> paltry. Oh, da, 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 da. Oh, illusion. Lord. He's coming. <laughs> cool. Oh, Lord, he's uh, coming. Uh, right. Go take breaks as people need to. Um, yeah, Tommy, I'm going to guess you want to read some stuff? or I will read some stuff. Um, yeah, let's go through some donations uh, from everybody. Uh, before we continue, though, I saw a couple of people arguing in chat that uh, blinded creatures oh, yeah, don't... don't take opportunity attacks. doesn't matter. We both but... agreed to it. It happened. And also, um... mistakes happen. Like, jeez. <laughs> Come, it's fine. Yeah, it's I deal. made a mistake. I won't do it again. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Um, as long as no need to the get player and the DM agree it. with it. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, yeah. Tom's not annoyed about it. He knows I'm just, I've made a mistake, so it's fine. Yeah. I'm not going to wreck yeah. on it. Plus, I'm that guy. I'm okay with getting yeah. hurt. Bad. Right. Cinder with a quarter Every hundo. More. Hey, guys. Not watching live today because of my graduation party. Congratulations. Uh, I should have more music made for you guys soon. Uh, Tom, I'm not salty. I'm not salty. I'm not salty for not playing some. I'm sure we've played some, Cinder. I'm sure I've had it in a collection and it's been played. JK, love you guys. Well, we look forward to the music. <laughs> okay. Anyway, uh, congrats on the graduation. Smurfette505 with a half hundo. Um, Thank you. I recently got paid more money than I expected, so I wanted to share the love and donate a little extra this week. I love you all. I want to thank you for making so many people happy uh, by just playing a silly game. Keep doing what you're doing. Thank you very much, Smurfette. And thank you for the very generous donation as well. Speaking of generous donations, Alex Jones watching porn has donated a half hundo. Wow. Um, okay. <laughs> loving the streams, guys. Maybe in the next 20 streams, you will make it back to Aroes and somehow your airship hasn't become a pirate ship. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I don't know. Possibly. We'll see. Thank you very much. Natalie Hawthorne, uh, back again with a $20 do donation. Who's ready for a TPK, boys? Not us. It's actually going well. This is going somewhat well. We're all kind of close to the ship. The time limit has begun, and Gratsy is nearby, but we're close to the ship. Um, yeah, yeah, you guys are going to be fine, I think. I honestly, you've done this very, very well. Had good roles, high initiatives all round, except for Nova was very, very useful. It meant that you guys could get all spells and positions and stuff like that in a, in place. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Mohawk Nade with a quarter hundo. God, these are all very, very high. Um, started watching on Rooster Teeth at the beginning of July. Oh, cool! That's the first time I've heard that. Uh, binge watched, uh, binge watched all of Aroes, Strad, and I'm halfway through Lightfall. I just wanted to say uh, love and thank you all very much for the wondrous free content. I don't have much, but have this. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you indeed. For also catching us on Rooster Teeth as well. That's very, very cool. Yeah, no, that's um, awesome. I'm glad that people have found us from that. Yeah. Uh, General Monkey 633 Hi, Tom. What happened to your Thunderstone pistol? Um, I'm pretty sure I threw it in a bin somewhere. I can't remember. I think yeah. I sold it. It's, it's still on your character sheet. You have the yeah, arcane pistol on there. Really? Yeah. Oh the, no. Oh yeah. The thunderstone we got rid of because I got the arcane pistol. Uh, but yeah. I mean, I mean, you've got cat. Like, yeah. why would you use it? Yeah. It, it's yeah. kind of like me having an energy crossbow. I don't really know why I have it, but occasionally, it's cool. That's cool. Yeah. 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 It probably makes more sense it. to somebody else, but or to sell it. I asked. It's cool I thing said, to have. does anybody want yeah. it? And everyone was being all British and no, weird. I, I like, didn't I mean, even. I didn't mean. I didn't mean the PCs. <laughs> I meant like maybe there's like an MP, like a member of the crew. You could give it to a member of the crew on yeah, the ship, yeah. and they'd have yeah, a powerful yeah. weapon, or you could sell it. You know, Big but cat. it's also Perfect. totally okay for you guys to just <gasps> keep stuff. Like it's totally fine to have it. Um, he can be Chewbacca. Yeah. Oh um, my god. Technically, aren't you? Maybe I oh, can't wield the crossbow. <gasps> I can't wield the crossbow. 
You kind of are, yeah, you kind of are. Um, the second half of this donation was maybe Thalia could help you learn how to use it uh, if she wow. and you are not dead. And, P.S., I'm yeah. so sorry for my spelling dyslexia. No, it's fine, it's fine, don't worry. Um, Nightjar, uh, the quiz yesterday was so much fun. Well done on the second place. Not you, Trot. Wow. Perfect. I'm not going to stoop to that level. One-eyed willies. <laughs> <laughs> one-eyed willies, one-eyed willie with a quarter hundo. I woke up late, so it's VOD squad for me. I uh, just wanted to pop in and say hi. Well, we'll catch you later in the VOD. One-eyed yeah. willies, one-eyed willie. And Tess Jenks, hello. I've been watching uh, for years and years on the VODs, and this is the first time I've ever caught you live. Well, welcome. Uh, you lot have got me through some tough times, so here is a small donation to say a big thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for thank you. watching thank you. for so long, and welcome to Live Gang for Life. Welcome. <laughs> Life Don't gang. ever use that term, please. No, it's Life too close gang. to the other gang. It's too close to the the low gang. Please, please. Oh no! Yeah, no. Out. I'm out. No. I'm out. No. Yeah. yeah. No. Nope. Absolutely. Um. Uh, um Tommy, do you want to pee pee? Um, you go pee pee, Tom. I'm just gonna go yeah. grab a drink. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. While Tom pees, can someone check the Discord, the staff room? There's um questions about the giveaway in there, and I don't understand any of it. So um. All right, I'll let Trot do that while I say a big thank you to uh, it was Recall who gifted tons yes. of subs today, like oh a whole chunk of subs. Um, thank you. Because I don't really know what's going on with the giveaway stuff as well. I kind of just left it to Trot. <laughs> uh, yeah, I looked at it and I was like, I don't know. <laughs> All right. uh, but yeah, anybody basically, if you sub, if you donate, whether it's here on Yogscast or if you come over here and sub or donate, or if you subscribe to our Patreon or whatever it is, thank you so much for that support. It does basically let us keep doing all of this. Um, but don't feel like you have to give money to support us as well. Like one of the best things, I always say this one of the best things you can do is tell people about the show. It is amazing that you might think, like, oh, but I'm sure everybody already knows about horrors. No, absolutely not. Most people probably still don't know it's even a thing that they can watch. Um, or they might be watching other shows and think, yeah, I want to watch High Rolls, but I haven't got round to it. Like, that's the way that you can help is by saying, seriously, you should watch it or like give it a go or like, here's the first episode, because that is the best way you can help us grow. And the bigger we get, the more we can do, the more DD stuff we can do, we can get better setups, all of that kind of stuff. Um, you know, because of COVID, because of lockdown, we have been playing remotely like this. We do normally have a studio. We want to get back to the studio with our proper cameras and like being sat around a table together. I miss it immensely, but do spread the word, let people know, um, and, and we can hopefully get back to it ASAP. So, it means I can't wear pajama bottoms though. Yeah, it does. You have to dress like a normal human. Um, <laughs> Super quick. Welcome back. Um, is anyone able to get Moobot working on the High Rollers channel? I tried it and it doesn't work. Nigel's just trying to do the giveaway on the High Rollers channel and I can't figure it out. I'm done. I'm... Technology. If you Technology. don't know, I don't know. Uh, it just comes I mean, up we with, could like, literally just message. chuck them in the chat. I'll, yeah, I'll we can figure in. something out. I'm logged in. Oh, wait, no. I'm well, uh, in I, I'd ra let's try and maybe sort it out afterwards because I'd either keep the stream going. I don't want to take too long to sort it out. Yeah, we can always cool. give them away. Um at the end, or even if it's just throwing them in chat or something like that, we can do something. Um, or Katie, maybe you can do it on your Twitter maybe this week, give them out that way. Ah, uh, whatever, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We'll um, figure I just out. don't want to take up too carry much more time. Uh, try, are you good to carry on? I know you're probably trying to sort out tech stuff. Yes. Is that a yes. yes, you're ready to go, or yes, you're still sorting stuff out? Uh, I've got yes. a bot working. <laughs> okay, Kim's perfect. Done it. Oh, oh, and right. give Nightjar control as well. Okay. Right, you guys so carry on. Good Nova's just messing right. around. Reese just, the... Re just put something in her mouth, so I'm going to let her finish it off. <laughs> 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 I didn't want to like jump back in and be like, right, Rhea, and she's like, I'm going to tap twice. Nom, 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 nom. Nom, nom, nom. Those aren't um, the cheese snacks, are they? No. Oh, no. no, okay. no. Yeah, Thank Trot, you. What, did, anyway. did you eat the cheese snacks? Yeah. Let's not talk yeah, about the cheese snacks. They're pretty good. <laughs> I didn't mind them after a while. Right. Is everyone done? Monster. Everyone good? Yeah. I think so. Right. Yeah. Well, let's carry back on. As the echoing screams and rage of Grat uh, echoes through the shipyard, 
You have only a few more enemies standing in your way. With a last ditch rush towards the ship, you will be able to flee as a grat. Um, so, Lucius, we start at the top of the round with you. Yeah. Uh, the mood darkened. I will bring it back up for the sake of viewability. There we go. The darkened sky. <laughs> I liked uh, it. Right. I will dash, unsurprisingly, towards the ship. So, five. Can I do that? Ten. I'm doing that. Fifteen. <laughs> Twenty. Please stay. I'm going to drop this. Sure. Uh, yep, I'll do so that. Can... Just move on to it. It's not there. We know it's. We know it's not there. Twenty-five. Wait, what was I on? Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Because I'm going with the chain. Yeah, it's a bit difficult terrain. Yeah, you got to kind of scrap. Actually, wait, it's broken now. So no, you don't. It's snapped. So it's Sentry not to it up there. terrain anymore. Well, eh, mistakes. Okay. <laughs> I just uh, realized. Yeah. I just realized it was broken, so it would be fine. So 30, I'll just move Sentry an extra five feet. There you go. 40, oh. 45, 50, 55, 60. Bam. That's mostly my turn. Um, I don't have any sorcery points, but I could use my font of magic to use up a spell slot to get sorcery points back, which I might do. Uh, so well, you can decide that while I go to Ayla's turn, as the Vrock right. is still flying away. That's 104 hit points that won't ever see the battlefield, thanks to that, um, that <laughs> turn <of Ayla. laughs> Oh my god, that's... that's awesome yeah rocks are um, pretty scary yeah yeah uh, so can i go here and grab rethra <laughs> yes uh i mean what, so when you say grab something. what do you mean he's not grappled he's just been hit a bunch of times uh, and looks very bloody and pissed off like drag him quicker towards the ship it won't be any quick no it won't be any quicker because when you pick somebody up you okay. then move at half movement i mean you could you'd get him a bit further along but you'd be moving at half movement also he doesn't okay, look do like that. the type that's just gonna let you pick him up you know he's no. you know even though he's he's not unconscious he's gonna not be very um wouldn't like the idea of being carried in, around in which case i will just hit the giant that's next to me sure twice that's a natural one. That's a four. So, 13. That's just, no, wait. yeah, no, unfortunately. Four, eight, wait, 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 wait. Nine, Twelve. ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen. Thirteen. Not enough, sadly. Bounces off of uh, the thick armor plating as the hammer smashes into his shin guard, but doesn't Dex seem save. to carry enough weight. Dex save, yeah. <laughs> uh, that's a two, so full damage. So he takes five lightning damage. Five Better points of nothing. lightning damage. Better than nothing. Um, you see the blast of lightning echoes up through his body, even though the attacks didn't make it through. The lightning still does scorch him. Uh, sentry. Um, I'd like to move five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty up to there, and mm -hmm. then I would like to cast command on the giant. I'd like okay. to tell him to flee, please. Okay. So what is the saving throw away. DC? 15. Ooh. Now this is very much going to depend on his bonus now. Uh, 15. Wisdom saving throw, did you say? Yeah. 13. Minus 1 to the saving throw. So he fails. Um, so yes. I think that on command, if you read it out, it's it's on his next turn he has to follow the command. Uh, follow the command on its next turn, yeah. Yeah, okay. So he still has this turn to yeah, up until his go, but then on his turn he has to flee. Okay. Um, anything else, Sentry? So that's your move, your action. Uh, I'm if not, good. it's I don't any bonus actions that will help right now. No, I'm good to go. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Uh, cool. On my turn, I want to use a bonus action to uh, explode Sentry's uh, sword. Not explode the sword, but make it that glow with it. impossible radiant energy. So everything is in 30 feet, or every enemy um, has to make a Cron save. Cron <laughs> uh, save. The Kron save. The join is a fifteen. Perfect. Uh, the knight is a natural twenty, and then no. the Puritan is a. Wait, well, it was. I hate to say. Or was it con saving throw? <laughs> the Puritan is also yeah. a fifteen. Uh, cool. So the two that failed, not the twenty, um, takes forty-eight 
That's 23 oh. damage from that, and awesome. they are blinded for one minute. Why and blinded? So you and watch blinded for a whole minute. minute. But it Jesus but it ends Christ. the holy weapon on Sentry's weapon. Uh, I believe so. Oh, actually, uh, failed saves take half as well. Oh, okay. So that would go nice. to 11 points on the or knight, successful. basically. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, and they, okay. they can so, make yeah. constitution saves to unblind to as blindness. well. Okay, so you watch as this, the Her Majesty's Rose, just the glow around it gets brighter and brighter and brighter until eventually it just explodes in this blast of radiance. The creatures will throw up their hands. You see the giant, like, kind of covering this helmeted visor. Uh, the periton is shrieking, flapping around in the air. The knight barely able to kind of keep it under, under control um, as uh, this energy washes over them. Um, anything else, call it on your turn. Since that wasn't really a spell, that was using a bonus action just to do the thing of the spell, I guess. Um, yeah, you can I'll cast also, a spell. Um, I'll also do a bonus action heal on... Uh, uh, you can't bonus NPC. action. You've already bonus actioned. Oh, shit. Uh, he needs to get closer. Um, like, okay, your wounds if he comes is to a me, action. Yeah, if he comes to me, then I'll action heal him. I'll call him towards me. Um, oh, Rethra, okay. Rethra, yeah. Okay. Uh, cool. And that'll be a fourth level cure wounds I'll do on him when he gets to me. Damn. Okay, cool. And with the knowledge that we now have from chat, uh, as the creatures are blinded, the only one that can take an opportunity attack is the knight on the back of the periton. Um, as Rethra, yeah, just basically runs towards the gangway. Uh, he is yelling like, well, are we running or fighting? Why, why are you still standing here? Um, Healing. <laughs> the knight does get one good hit off on Rethra. Um... That is going to be nine, and then half, so two, so eleven more points. Um, you can see now that yeah, these these wounds are very very quickly beginning to get severe uh, on Rethra as he's now covered in cuts and bruises. The flame doesn't seem to be affecting him too much, um, as the flame itself seems to be absorbed by his tattoos. Um, cool, and the cure wounds for him is uh, twenty eight. Twenty eight, yeah. He okay. <laughs> 28. <laughs> nice. Back in uh, as you are all kind of stood around, um, he probably would get to... He'd probably stay where he is because he's kind of blocking the two casters. Uh, and he's kind of stood next to Ayla and he's got his weapons and he's just going to ready himself that he, if he needs to do something. Actually, no, he could attack the giant while he's got advantage, which is what he'll do. Um, so he attacks the giant twice. Uh, first attack hits for... That's going to be 12 points of damage. Uh, which strikes. He kind of stabs into the knee joint of the giant as this dark, thick blood begins pouring out. Um, his second attack is also a hit uh, for another five points of damage. Um, leaving this giant stumbling now, blood pouring from various wounds, blinded, it, it can't really see, uh, and Rethra heavily, heavily weakens it. Um... Nice. The knight on his go will attempt to keep the periton uh, under control, which he does, um, but he can't make it move. Well, he could, but it's... Yeah, he can still move it because it's blinded. So he'll move it, and he's flying about sort of five feet above you all, um, and then he will try and strike down towards Lucius. Uh, for an 18... Please. Oh, detection? Yep. Uh, that is going to be a 15, Lucius. Um, so... I I can't remember if my barrier ring just lasts a turn or not. Did you? Yeah. A minute. You did when you were grappled. Yeah. So... It's still up. It lasts a minute. How does it? Okay. Yeah. So 14 plus protection, which is three, right? Uh, two. So it's 16. Is my AC's 18? Your AC's 18? Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, wait. My barrier Ow. was at four. Sorry. Yeah. It's 16. <laughs> 16. Okay. Um, so yeah, it still misses because it's a 15. Um, so the lance kind of just barely scrapes past the barrier ring's shield. Um, I was going to say 18. You've never had an AC that high. It's <laughs> a little so AC the, creep. <laughs> yeah. The, uh, the lance just barely narrowly misses you as the barrier ring's energy protects you from uh, the strike. Um, right. He does strike twice. Um, for, that's only a 14. So both strikes... Uh, deflected away. Thanks for uh, that. You Protect. are fighting. Nice. Nova. Um. 
I feel like I'm probably... Do you know what? I'm going to pop back, shoot the giant, disappear into the ether. Um, sure. So, Makes sense. Three Eldritch Blasts. One. Twelve. Nope. Twenty-five. Right. Thirteen. As I'm, I'm going to give you some advice. Yeah, the twelve and the thirteen are going to miss. Generally, when you have a lot of injured targets, roll the beam, then see how much damage you do, because if you kill it, you might then want to be like, well, then I'll put the second beam on this creature, and I'll do the third beam on that creature. Because this giant is so weak that if you'd hit the first one, you would have killed it. Um, so, uh, just well, as a I heads up, don't... It, but I'm referring to the two sandwich ones missed anyway. Yeah, they missed anyway. So you did hit with she, one, so 1d10 damage. Did advantage like Rethra did? Because he's blinded. Yeah, yeah, you would have advantage on each one as well, actually, because it's blinded. So, yeah. Can I so start rolling roll again? The other ones again? <laughs> yes, well, or, yeah, roll... Or if, it, if it's a 12 and a 25, so 25 is my first Just... beam. Sure, let's do that as the first beam. The next two rolls would be the second beam, and then you'd have two more rolls for the third beam. So let's roll the okay, first so beam and see how much I've damage you do. The... I've rolled the first beam, I rolled an 8. A 1d10, that fourth eight damage. Is a 1d10. So that that's 8 it. damage on the giant. Yep. Kills it. Oh, so he, nice. the, the beam nice. knocks it back and it just pierces through its chest, killing it dead. So now the second okay. beam, let's say you aimed that at the knight, that missed. Mm -hmm. The third beam, you can now choose which target. You have this large bird-like mount or the knight uh, atop it. I will go for the uh, bird. Why not? Uh, 15. Do I get advantage on the burb because he's blinded as well? No. Oh, uh, no, yeah, he is blinded. Yes, so you do. Yes. Sorry, I keep forgetting it's the knight that's not. Uh, so it's a 15. Uh, that is a hit. Five points damage. And then I'm going to bounce back damage. into the ship. So you kind of pop out. One blast pierces through the giant's chest, causing it to stumble to the ground. The next one, you streak, pulling several sort of like these bright colored feathers uh, away in this gouging scar down the, the periton's side. Um, and then you whew, back into the, the interior of the Twin Star, which is now kind of fully powered up, ready to leave. Uh, Thalia is shouting, Get them on the ship! We need to leave now, Nova, now! Um, she's calling back through uh, towards you. Uh, the blinded bird will just lash out at whatever it can see. So it's got three targets. I'll roll randomly. One, two for Rethra, three, four for Lucius, uh, five, six for Sentry. Uh, so this will go against Rethra. Uh, the bird has disadvantage on its attacks. Uh, it will miss on the first one. Uh, and then on the second one, it will still hit for another eight points of damage to Rethra. Uh, as it's kind of just scrabbling around, clawing, um, doing whatever it can to uh, try and strike at any opponent it can reach, basically. Uh, in, a, in a flurry of claws and, and uh, beak, uh, it strikes through. Two giants are dead. And at the, end of it, uh, at the end of its turn, it does a con save as well. Uh, that's true. Thank you. Uh, that is going to be 15, I think. Um, <laughs> which is a failure, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Little blind bird boy. I'm the real bird boy around here. <laughs> so you can see uh, flying down at the top of the round, flying down from these various flying creatures. Kyrie has been blasting them away kind of in the background, keeping many of them off your back or preventing them from landing. But at the sort of far end uh, where they're more condensed, one creature breaks free, a red-skinned humanoid with black uh, bat-like wings. Uh, you can see it's got like a long spear in one hand. Its other hand is clutching fire, uh, ready to launch it as some sort of spell uh, in your direction. But Lucius, we begin with you. Right. I'm going to use, so I can only uh, take a spell slot and convert it into sorcery points, one spell slot a turn. So I did that while you moved to someone else's. Mm -hmm. I did a second level and got two points uh, sure. equivalent. I'm going to use those to quicken a spell to okay. make it a bonus action. I'll do yep. hypnotic pattern on these boys. Yep, so the two creatures in front of you. My glamour weave sends out a ridiculously complex pattern baffling them mm -hmm. in that area 30 foot cube so it'll be like the top Hit right both corner of them of the easily um, yep. it's a wisdom saving throw of 16 please okay the night passes um seemingly adept at uh keeping its mind focus but the bird even though it can't see the pattern uh fails <laughs> so yeah. the sounds or the light kind of flashing in its eyes 
uh, take effect. Right, so speed of zero, incapacitated, uh, charmed. It's screwed. <laughs> it does nothing, <laughs> it just kind of flies in place, uh, so doing nothing, my... and the mount's trying Bonus to get it action. to move, but it won't. Yep. Uh, my action is to disengage and run into the ship. Vanished. Everyone Done. follow me! <laughs> Easy. Uh, Rock is still flying away because of the turn. Uh, Ayla, then sentry. <laughs> I'm gonna get in the ship, please. <laughs> so you just rush up, sure. Can I drag uh, Rafra with me, actually? Because I've got enough movement again, to do it. You would have to pick him up, and then you would move at half speed. Um, you'd have to literally grapple him to drag him. him. Okay, never throw him. No, he's, he's a sentient shot. person. No, he's he's you know it doesn't work that way, unfortunately. Yeet um, him. Yeet him. Yeet. You could yeah, you can pick him up if you want to, but. Uh, you, he would, you'd literally have to grapple him to do it, um, cause he's not very willing. Uh, sentry. Um, I'm going to disengage from the sky and run into the ship, please. Okay. So that's your action. Uh, and then you run in, um, just before Quill can make his move, the uh -oh. man, the red skinned man, uh, is just desperately flying towards you all. Uh, he will move 60 feet. So five, 10. Easily get within range, and then what's the range on his fire ray? Oh, he doesn't even need to get any closer. He will instead just fly yeah, sort of what? perpendicular. Uh, and then, yeah, with this kind of flaming hand, he points his finger towards Quill, and two long rays of fire will come shooting out of it. Uh, that roll to hit. Oh. 14. Oh, no. Oh, uh, no. Missed. Uh, and then 18 on the second one. So the first one kind of <laughs> this flaming lance streaks past i may as well shield okay so you conjure a magical yeah, shield just... and that kind of the flames lick all around the magical barrier as you kind of hold your your one hand up um and it pulls it's around a mirror you. shield it bounces back yeah. in it doesn't but it's a cool effect oh. that it, kind of, it bounces back <laughs> towards him but he flies out the way so it kind of like whoosh, uh back towards him and he darts out of the way um and you can yeah. see him he kind of frowns, and he seems to be talking to something, but you can't hear what he's saying. You can just see his lips moving, um, as if talking ah, to I have, you. Uh, or I have observant. I can see what he's saying. Oh, you can read lips, can't you? Ah. Yeah. <laughs> so, in that <laughs> like, case, you do trying see... Trying to out-RP that one. <laughs> you have no, to yeah, no, you do see what he <laughs> says, and he is saying, my prince, they are about to get on their ship. They're about to get away. Their forces can't <laughs> reach them. You need to get here now. No, he doesn't say that. Send the Garistro. Send it now. Um, that. Not the barista. I don't I'd like a latte. <laughs> you guys can make all the jokes you like about the Garistro, but you won't be making jokes when it shows up. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh. Ella, you better get on that turret. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if I need to disengage here, but if I do, I will, and then I'll get onto the ship as well. It does leave Rethra okay. out there on its own, but... Yeah. yeah, so you just basically dash, uh, flee into the ship. Sorry, my chrome <laughs> window's done the same thing again. Hate you that eyebrow. <laughs> <laughs> I see you, boo. Just, just leave him. Just leave the NPC that's okay. really important to Ayla. <laughs> I gave him a big, big heal. He should be fine. See all those other NPCs that we've had to leave behind for Ayla? Yeah, just leave this one too. Let's just leave her story. Leave hey, I helped, I helped Ayla, you in the first place. Ref, ref I know, also don't let that be in vain. And rushes onto okay. the ship. Ah. Um, there he is. As can he I, does so, can I go the door... To the turret, by the way. Yeah, yeah, you absolutely on can. So you begin making your way up into the turrets. What is everyone else doing? Once you're actually on the ship, where do you go? Engines. So you go back into your uh, position as the uh, engineer. Yeah, I'll go co-pilot. Okay, so you kind of just reaffirm into your positions that you've been in previously. Sentry? Um, can I go Lucius. into the main uh, quarters of the ship and mm -hmm. cast Magic Circle on the centre of the ship? Okay, well, in the lounge area where you guys have like hung out before, area. basically. Yeah, yeah. So, because it's like 10 foot circle isn't it it's like a 10 foot yeah radius 10 foot okay circle. cool yeah so it takes a while it takes doesn't it, it takes like 10, yeah it takes, it takes a, a minute, minute to cast, cast okay yeah. all right so that's what you're doing though like while this goes on yeah. okay so as the ship as the doors begin closing on the astral ship and it is 
very sci-fi. It's like this crystalline ship with these long, sleek back wings, this central kind of area, um, and then these two magical turrets uh, built into the wings. Um, you, the ship begins pulling away, and you begin to see that these hordes of demons, Ayla and Kyrie, are kind of blasting holes in these swarms of demons and creatures that are trying to slow you down. You see smashing through the gates of the uh, port. Um, this <laughs> this is what would have appeared at the top of the round. You oh. see a giant, gargantuan, uh, ape-like creature, a huge creature, kind of smash through with these ram horns, the one that you had seen outside the Theatre of Steel. Uh, and it looks up. It begins shaking the ground as it reaches up to try and grab onto the wing, but Thalia kind of spins it um, kind of pulling the wing out of its reach before jetting off towards uh, into the atmosphere, up in towards the sky. As your ship is tailing, you begin to see various um, red-skinned uh, human pilots and, and demon pilots getting into the pursuit ships in the astral port below. Um, and they, you see their astral engines and infernal engines beginning to power up. Um, and as you fly up into the up into the atmosphere, you begin to see the purple blue haze of astral space above you getting closer uh you watch as the ships begin pulling away um and chasing after you when suddenly this force net of glowing blue oh. lines and they all kind of smash it. into it several oh, of them like bursting mm. apart metal fragments raining down on the port below oh, um, the others managing to pull back just in time as this whole net covers uh the space down below <gasps> You think, you breathe for a moment, you know, this sense of relief, and then you kind of see this dark shadow fall over the view pit of the, of the ship itself as kind of swarming upwards this huge, like at the size of a mountain, black shape extending past this net is this giant, kind of the upper half of Graz, pure jet black skin, six-fingered hands, huge wings and sweeping horns, and you just see the face twisted in rage as a hand is reaching up, chasing just behind the twin star. Is any What are you guys doing as you see this? Uh, to to uh, charge engine, engine? Blast it! Yeah. Make engine I'm sure. fast yeah. Nova, punch it! Nova! Uh. <laughs> Uh, if you go in the handout section, all the handouts for the uh, oh, ship yeah. uh, stuff is still there. Uh, oh, that's where it is. Yeah. Nice. Okay. So you can do a boost if you wanted to, uh, Ayla. I'll do a boost. Sure. So I need to. Yeah. Are we still doing initiative or? You can. Do, I will let you guys just take these actions as you wish. Um, Ayla, I'm assuming you are shooting, so feel free to make an attack roll. Um, Attack rolls. Okay. Quill, Lucius, um, with the with the um, with the guns. So check out the, the uh, handout. Attacks. Lucius is yep. flailing around no. in a panic. So what do I do? Okay. How do I help? Sure. Um, you could open the door and like lean out if you wanted to. You're not quite in astral space. Eighteen yet. and like a. <laughs> I rolled a three for the other one. Sure. So. Roll damage. Yeah. Roll the roll the damage. Doesn't matter. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> he's hmm. he's a demon prince. Like I just you know. 3d10 of damage against like 400 odd hit points it's like yeah i mean i'll i'll make a note of it but i'm not worried hey um, <laughs> it could be 10 percent or less well less it'll be less uh how was that boost nova how's that boost check damage please okay. damage um, so... oh if you're doing a boost check uh you rolled a 19. okay i rolled a 19. there you go Plus okay whatever. important <laughs> so you Plus feel this kind of surge two. As the the arcane cannons from both Ayla and Kyrie slam into this figure, and the hand, the bolts, kind of the radiant beams pierce through its skin, but it doesn't show any sign of slowing down. The twin star just gets this final kind of <laughs> lurch of power as the fingers of the hand begin touching astral space. You watch as they begin freezing as they touch the astral space itself. The hand oh. begins freezing in the fingers as it desperately tries to grab the ship. But as its fingers begin closing in around the nose, it just breaks free and several of the fingers shatter to pieces as the ship <gasps> launches awesome. up into the astral sea. Uh, and you just hear, the, uh... even through 
the the planar space through the planar magic that allows you to travel between these worlds you hear this roar this Oh my god. Oh, the, hand, the red, yeah. the red, the, hand that the red planet of Azagrad. Is that the hand with the ring? Uh, it, yeah, well, does that no, have a little uh, wish ring on it? There was no, there was no <laughs> yeah. rings on the giant hand. There were no rings on it. Uh, uh, um, imagine though. But you watch as the red planet of Azagrat, this dusky, blacky red planet, begins fading away. The last thing that you hear is, Quillock, you have a message in your head. Uh, as if somebody was using the sending spell. Yeah. I know who you are. I will not forget what you have done. And I will chase you until the very ends of the multiverse to make sure you suffer for your defiance. Well, let's hope he doesn't know where Rois is. <laughs> <laughs> Is that your message back to him? <laughs> no, <laughs> God no. <laughs> We're going for a Rois, the coordinates are this, this, and this. Come get us, bitch. <laughs> uh, no, I don't reply. You just, you just like, I do not take the opportunity to reply. Yeah, I will just not leave bother. him on read. Leave him on read. Yeah. Yeah. Ghost him. If it, if it was like <laughs> one, a TV show more. and it was one of those flip phones, you just smash the flip phone, just stamp on it. It's like throw it, the throw it into a lake. <laughs> yeah. Oh god, I hate that. Oh no, we've made such a powerful enemy. Why can we not make any friends? You have made friends. I mean, it was either <laughs> that or Lucius and Quill and and Thalia were going to be prisoners forever. So 200 years each. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. Not good. Oh. I mean, we didn't get the wish, but it was a hell of an adventure, a hell of a heist we as well. Rathra. We did it. We, got we, was. we did it. That's you the did. first time we've ever successfully pulled off a plan. Yeah. Can yeah. we talk about how yeah. in, in like four years? <laughs> like there was no staircase. We didn't fall down the staircase. We didn't like, you know, almost get blasted no, out. Of oh, space. that's why there was no corridor. There wasn't a corridor. That's why we didn't fail. There was a gangway. Yeah. There was a gangway. I will say this is um this is a learning experience for me because high level encounters in D D, they are difficult to balance. Um, I was using the challenge rating, you know, calculator, and it was like, oh, this is a this is a hard to deadly encounter. I was like, okay. And as you guys smashed it so easily, I now know not to trust that whatsoever and to go with my gut, which is to make enemies <laughs> oh, a lot harder. No. So, no, you guys, really well. that was we so, you did really well. You did, but only the enemies because themselves. We rolled decent. No, because not only did you roll really well, but things like your general average damage output is a lot higher than I thought it was. Your average height, your average AC and hit points are a lot higher than I thought they were. So the enemies I was throwing you against, I was like, actually, these will burn way too quickly. I need to make enemies that are a lot tougher. So I'm seeing too just... many of the cogs behind the machine. I don't want to hear. That's well, fine. I like <laughs> talking about the cogs because uh, it's fun. No, um, do it the behind what the screen. What happens <laughs> if Gratz the... us? Like, I mean, I'm not going to tell about that. Okay. The one thing I will say. The Wall of Acid, I think, is definitely that and the Banishment on the Vrock mm. were extremely mm. clever plays. You guys did very, very well on both of those counts. Um, and as and the reason I bring all this up mm. is because as you have escaped from Azagrat, you may not have got your wishes. You may not have got uh, any kind of cool loot, but you do get a level up because that was a pretty, hey. pretty incredible. Hey. I mean, you guys had a lot of Yay. encounters. You did a lot of cool stuff. So you will gain a level up. I know normally we do an XP Ooh, system, but yeah. while we're in lockdown, we've been doing more of a milestone thing. Um, and that seems like a pretty good place uh, to level up. We'll handle that after the episode. Yeah, um, instead, not do it. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're not going to do it now. Um, the first few hours after your escape from Azagrat are tense. They are filled <laughs> with apprehension. Thalia constantly checks um, the kind of the ship's arcane systems to make sure that nobody is following you she doubles back she often takes like she'll find asteroids to kind of hide in for a moment make sure that no one's following and then take a different route away um rather than just heading towards the nearest planet she flies into open space hoping that they'll be expecting you to go somewhere else um adding a few extra maybe like half a day to your journey but she assures you that this is for the best to make sure that nobody can find you um once you hit stick space um there is a calming down of energy 
as the tense escape slowly its effects fade away as that adrenaline and the tension eases up uh, in the atmosphere uh, around you and yeah you guys are now um, free to continue your journey back home towards Erois could I uh, do a sending to the Wings of Ishtar? Because they're on like a totally different planet. I almost want to see if I can get them to run like a communications mess and just be like talking to people and spreading rumors that we're in this planet or in this planet or whatever, but not nearly anywhere near Erois or where Erois is. Sure. Do you know who you contact in the Wings of Ishtar? Who do you send a message to? Uh, Zelitar. That's the Zelitar? name of the planet you were just front on. Zelion. That's no. the name of the city. Ze Zelion. The, Zelion. The, Kim's the, saying it for you. Name. Zelion. Zelion. I've said it five him. times, Tom. <laughs> Say to him. You know, Kim, you understand now. Um, I, I yeah. know. Yeah. So, what do you say? <laughs> what, you got twenty-five. You got twenty-five words. What do you say? Uh, bad escape from Azagrat made powerful enemy. Bad escape from Azagrat, made powerful enemy, need you to confuse our location, spread rumors <laughs> that we are elsewhere. <laughs> elsewhere is one word. You've got six words. Please. <laughs> All right, please, so please, you don't please, use please, the please. last five. <laughs> um, you... There is, there is a significant wait for a reply. Um, when you get the reply, it is difficult. Currently on mission for Tassadar. Okay. We'll do what we can. Azagrat was a dangerous idea. Be more careful. Demons not to be underestimated. We'll try. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, cool. That makes sense. Cool. If it helps, it helps. If it doesn't, it doesn't. It doesn't. Um, yeah. Is there anything you guys want to talk to each other about? I will tell you now that there are still at least a couple of days before you are even close to Erois in terms of astral travel, so... Um, um, can you sign off your messages? Can you can you say, sign off your messages? XOXO gossip verb from now on. Uh, it's clear skies. We've been over this. That's the code. Clear skies. XO, XO, Everything XO, is good. Verb. Clear kiss, skies. Kiss, kiss. Maybe XOXO XO, XO, clear sky. <laughs> I was just going to ask: but Is there like hot verb. chocolate on the ship or anything? Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm looking around think... hot chocolates for everyone. I mean, I don't think Thalia. <laughs> I don't think Thalia would carry hot chocolate. Uh, she's whiskey. more of a liquor and yeah, she's more of a whiskey. <laughs> any booze yeah. that she can find. Um, most of the food is kind of freeze dried protein mix that she kind of has with whiskey. <laughs> nice. And eats that. That's fair. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. There's nice. not really a lot of culinary uh, goods. I mean, she did buy supplies, but I don't think they would have probably included hot chocolate. Or perhaps if there okay. was, you've probably burnt through it. Uh, but you can definitely make something for the, the team. Sentry's I'll already make, make a dinner. hot chocolate yeah. for everybody, <laughs> every day. Every single yeah. day she brings everyone a that That's a very Sentry thing to do, probably. Yeah. Mine has marshmallows. Uh, Rethra looks... You can see that now that things have settled down, he kind of paces around the ship for a while, grunting, kind of nervously looking in all the corridors... Uh, there is a moment when Kyrie descends from her turret, these taut, these long, taloned legs with these big feathery wings um, that Rethra immediately has like his weapons out. As soon as he senses, he's like, oh, what's that? Uh, and seems to be very much on edge. Um, big Cat as well kind of lumbers out of a hiding spot. Rethra turns on that and kind of gets backs himself into a corner, looking quite agitated. It's okay. Everyone on this ship is a friend there is a giant cat there is Kyrie, and there is thalia and then the others you've already met but we're all good no other threats right now mm. big cats fine but don't don't piss it off 
He looks down at it, he's like, mm, I thought similar things to this. Stay away from me, cat. And he kind of like looks I'll, at it and uh, frowns. I'll I'll pet the cat. I'll pet big cat. He he he's he fine. looks at you petting it and just sort of like shakes his head and frowns. Is there somewhere I can sleep or something like that? Some preferably somewhere quiet, dark. Is there anywhere he can sleep? I don't really know on if there's anywhere on the ship that you guys have got your own quarters, but really that's pretty much full. Um, um, we can ask Sally. I, I I can go and I can set up in the engine room. Like I don't mind. I can take a bed roll and a pillow. I'm used to kind of sleeping. It, it's kind is of it, comforting hearing it. You can is it quiet bed. in there? Is it dark? I don't really want to be in a room with other people. Preferably, I want to be on my own. Um, I guess it can be. You might hear me, like, you know, pottering around a bit, if you don't mind that. That's fine. That's fine. Well, good to have you on board. Everybody's safe. That's all that matters. And we just have yeah, another right. arch nemesis that wants us all in the future. But we're going home. That's all that matters. Right? Where are oh, you going? We You've not said mm. where you're going. Uh, Ayla will tell you, I'm sure. Why can't you tell me? Uh, well, I think it's more appropriate. <laughs> you like Ayla more than me. It's not really got anything to do with it. I want to know where we're going. Just I don't really care who to tells off, me. That's all. <laughs> I can tell that. We're going. Why are you being so? We're why are you being so Eroes. suspicious, Elf? He looks uh, back at Ayla. We're going. Eroes. Yes. Eroes. This is why we haven't mentioned it out loud <clears throat> yet. It's obviously a delicate matter, given that everything that's going on in the universe, I guess. But yeah, that's where yeah. we're from. Makes sense. Makes sense that's where you're from if you're not friends of the Empire. Fine. No, definitely not. Me. Quite the, the opposite. Hmm. Well, if things are still... It's been a few decades but if things are still the way they were before I left the Empire that's going to be difficult first of all I'm assuming you know how to find it otherwise what are you doing here but the second one is that you know that Callus has fleets of ships positioned around it you're going to have to get past them as well and this ship well, it's not going to be enough there are some challenges along the way but we're going to get there. Well, I'd rather die fighting than be trapped up in that arena again, so fine. <clears throat> I need some time. This is all a bit much. It's been fighting instinct up until now, but there's a lot I need to think about. There's a lot of stuff I don't think I've let myself accept yet. So I'm going to go somewhere quiet, and then I'll come find you all when I'm ready to talk a bit more. Sound good? Sure. I'm not actually asking. That's a rhetorical question. And then he, walks, he leaves. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely Herky to have him on board. Yeah. yeah. He's as much as a delight as Zalo was. Is. And always shall be. I've grown as a person. I'm more delightful to you guys now. Not really yeah. anyone else, but... Now you're actually a Learning delight and not progress. a sarcastic delight. <laughs> yes, definitely no sarcasm. Never. That's um, what do we do? We still he's, need... not, he's not wrong. We still need to get payment for Thalia, by the way. We didn't Thalia, get the ring. <clears throat> Thalia overhears this, and she leans back and she's like, no, you don't. No, you don't need to pay me anything now. Uh, I'll get you home. Oh. You, okay, I mean, you, sure. you, we did have an agreement, and we didn't honor it. <laughs> yeah, you did. Uh, you did everything that I could ever have expected anyone to do, Quillick. The fact that you were even just willing to try is payment enough. And she, you see her kind of like look very, very sadly at all of you, and then she kind of smiles and is like, "Well, <clears throat> uh, I need to." We've got a few days before we reach the Shifting Straits. Uh, that's what Bim called them. 
I'm going to need to do some serious thinking about how we get through it, and you all need to still think how we're going to let your sonship know that we're not to be blasted. So I suggest you get on that. Uh, yep, okay. I'll figure it out. I, I'm more worried about Sounds the good. fleets of Starbain potentially circling oh, Erois. That's true, we need to think about that as well. That's one way we need to get through both of them. Yeah. Aren't we also meant to be infiltrating the Tassadar? Hmm. That sounds like a very much a your group problem. Um, I think that's a later when we get home problem. We can teleportation Probably. circle into it from anywhere. Yeah. So I could do that. You can do. I can. I can do that yeah. as well. We could do that. Semi. We can do each. that. Oh. Yeah. Perfect. That's pretty good. That's what we can put on <laughs> on the ship. But when we get our ship back, oh, that's a point. Shall I contact Araya? It's been it's Might been way be beyond it. their time staying in that place. Yeah. Araya, Hesper, the lot, the works. What about Vala? I have sounded is, desperate. Is it worth catching up with Vala and telling her that we have plans and asking her to hold on? I don't want her to give up hope. Um, I don't know don't how interceptable. Just say that we are thinking of her, and that we are working on things. We can make it as vague as possible. Maybe I could do it in a, in a in a dream. I don't think a dream can be intercepted. That might work. Yes. Give it a go. Callus has messed with your thoughts before, Nova. We should really be careful. He used a weird machine, though. I don't think he can actually cast it. I think someone else cast it through him. But they might... I just worry that he knows that we want Vala back. And that yeah, who knows if, that's if the she's case, then connected pull out to all of this. Of the dream. But don't give I anything don't, away. Yeah. If he's on Erois and she's on the Tassadar... Are, are they even talking right now? Like, maybe he's too busy with everything else. She managed to get to us. I don't I don't know that anyone could interfere with this. With, with we dream. need to remember that Starbane is very smart and is probably a few steps ahead of what we're even thinking. Who knows what's happened at the time that we've been transported to an entirely different planet and flying our way back. We don't know what the state of Eros is in. I just... I think we should check in on Vala. If I was her... I'd be losing hope. Let's do that. Do it in a dream. How long? Just be how careful. long has it been um, since we actually heard from Vala last? Because she sent us a message last time. Do we know roughly she did how think long ago that was? That was, mm, by your account, like a couple of weeks, three weeks, maybe. A while. Yeah. Try the dream. I'm for it. Yeah, I think she'll appreciate okay. it. Yeah. For sure. Okay. I'll give it a go. Sure. Sorry, I'm just double checking all the text of the dream spell. Sure. Um, well, other people, is there anything other people want to do while Nova is reading up on that? Or do we just so, want to jump straight to that? Two days from the Shifting Straits was that, and then how. Like mm, two days the till the shifting straight to... Yeah. Well, Thali, if you're yeah. asking Thali, she's like, "Well, it's difficult." Bim, Bim was literally making estimates, guesses. You've got to remember, no, your Robus doesn't show up on any planetary maps or navigation. It's all worked out from Bim's collection of obscure lore and re accounts from old ghost stories and you know, tales that smugglers tell each other. Uh, the shifting straits, we believe, surround the region of space, region of astral space, uh, pretty close to Erois, but uh, a distance enough that well, people can't see through it and people can't interact with the sunship. Um, from the sounds of it, Callus has sent forces here before, but people don't really track what the Empire is doing. Uh, trying to stay away from it, generally. Um, okay. I imagine it won't be more than an astral day away. I mean, it can't be that far from the Shifting Straits, but so about three days. 
about that, yes, I imagine. Okay. In that case, I'll do a sending to Araya and confirm we're three days away from what, where we believe Aroas is. So, okay. I mean, we'll have to let her know where we land I mean, as well. We could be 20, 25 so words. 25 words. You tell yeah. me what you're saying. Clear skies. We're three days away from where we believe Aroas is. We're finally, finally coming back. <laughs> Try to get everyone ready. Three words left, I think. XO, XO, uh, X. XO, XO, XO. Well, you get XO, X, and then it cuts Great off. Um, <laughs> uh, we'll go with we'll go with O X O. I'm more of a hugger than a kisser. Okay, XO, 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 Um You get a message back. Uh, the message back you receive is clear skies. Uh, we will. Not sure how long you think you've been gone. Been a few days now. Managed to cover payments for ship. See you soon. Been a few days. Hang on. Do you Wait. keep forgetting? Oh my God, Do you great. keep here? Do you keep forgetting yeah. that every time we message her, she keeps on talking about weird time stuff? Like, yeah, yeah it's literally just a couple of yeah. days for them. Yeah, I, know, but I think this time they've actually said the last couple of times it was just like not sure how long you think you've been gone and then continuing the message um, this it's time around it's like so it's only much. been a couple of days damn cool. okay. two days fine. we haven't wasted any time barely yeah. no Eros is fine as it turns out or Sweet. extremely wow. slow that explains why we're so ancient compared to all the other uh, planets Ooh, timey <laughs> yeah. wimey <laughs> We'll see. We'll see what's happened in two days. Yeah. Probably a lot. And it's going to be a few more. Right? Wait, is it slowly going to get back to normal as we get close to Aroas? Is there a relative amount? Or is it just suddenly Ooh. we're through the bubble of that time dilation into this one? <laughs> oh, oh no, so if we're fighting a war side. on one side, they're going extremely quickly and we're just going really slow to them. No, it's the time other bubble. Around, isn't it? Ah, whatever. I don't know. I don't know how time <laughs> works. Hello, we finally arrived! <laughs> <laughs> In 74 years! Okay, it also could be that the, the time effect might not be when you're actually on planets, like astral planets, but it could be the stick mm. space. You've been you, The way that you've been right. traveling between planes is through this kind of demi-plane called sti the, right. the sticks, which is what you've been using to travel faster. So it could be that time spent there is faster than it is outside of that space. Mm. I have a headache. <laughs> Anything else? Sentry, Kayla, Lucius? Sentry? Want to check in on anyone? Uh, Anything? I guess Sentry will just start thinking of a plan. Start trying to okay. think of how we're going to get through the next few days and the next, next stage of this crazy okay. journey. Sure. Okay. Um... Kyrie comes down and seems very happy to see all of you. Um, the shy harpy uh, kind of gently sort of gives everyone like a, not quite a hug, but like a little pat and then flusters away like, oh, hey, I'm glad you're back. And, and then scurries away to find the next person. Um, but yeah, yeah. Uh, until the evening, nothing really major happens until Nova, uh, I'm guessing you would like to cast Dream. Can I have one, ask one small question you can ask as, as many questions well. as you like that's my job so you know we have a book chronically chronicling the lineage of a minor noble family from lunaria mm -hmm. didn't thalia mention that she was from lunaria or maybe that's up to your notes family? if that's what you remember you know I mean? that could be yeah. the case if i was to read this book in great detail would i discover this like is it something any i mean are you reading the book or are you these? casting dream well i gotta cast the dream in it um before the well okay i'm gonna pin that and come back to that okay. later um sure. but can i also have a converse a quick conversation with quillek and kalar um oh. can i literally just like I don't know. I just imagine it like he just walks past engineering and I just literally leap out of the darkness and grab him and pull him in. Quill! Oh god, no! They're here! 
<laughs> what? <laughs> oh, God, okay, what? But keep your voice down. I don't want Talia to hear this, but um, do you have, in your big bird brain of yours, do you have any sort of spell that can, like, remove the the the, the thing, the, the, a, a curse or something like that? Because she really wanted that wish, right? And I'm guessing it's kind of to remove this, this Medusa curse on her. Do you have anything that can do that? Rater Restoration, yeah, I, I, yeah. We used it on Rethra, and it got rid of his whatever was affecting him. Uh, if it works, I could, tr- I could try. I could try. I think. I mean, I'll ask Talia if that's what she, I'm. I'm guessing. I'm kind of just guessing. You know how really bad I am at like, you know, subtext. Reading people. And yeah, yeah. that. Um, <laughs> kind of why I probably grabbed you and pulled you in here. I probably should ask you. Yeah, sorry. don't do that. Um, okay, sorry. <laughs> Um, sorry. Um, but yeah, maybe we should go and ask her if that's a thing that she would like, and because she seems really sad about it. If 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 that's what she's sad about, I'm apparently good at reading people, and I haven't picked up on that. So yeah, we could she try. It's really go... well. I've read that drinking a lot of alcohol is a way to mask problems, and she seemed genuinely quite sad about. Um, you know, not being able to, her fam- she she kind of sometimes mentions her family, and, and she does drink being a lot ugly. too. When I first met her, she talked about being ugly and pretty girls, and I think that's kind of what I remember. I was mostly looking at the blouse, but okay, uh, I'll do this with okay. Bella. But maybe we can go and talk to her and and see what she wants, because I think that would be nice, right? Okay. She seems really sad, and I want her to be happy. If, 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 she, if that, that can be our payment to her. I know she doesn't want it, but she deserves it. If that's what she wants. Yeah. Cool. I'm right. going to go Good get dream. ready for the dream yeah. thing now. Oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah, can I okay. do the dream? Yeah. Let's get dream up. So I'm going to read it out, actually. There's a lot to read out words. Dyslexia's best friend. I can read it. I've got Uh, it up here. This spell shapes a creature's dreams. Choose a creature you know as the target of this spell. They must be on the same plane of existence as you. So that's what I'm kind of concerned about. Um, Mm -hmm. Creatures that don't sleep, such as elves, cannot be contacted by this spell. You are a willing... uh, So ignore that. Uh, You enter a trance state, acting as a messenger. While in the trance, the messenger is aware of her surroundings, but can't take actions or move. And then I can shape the dream and talk to them, basically. Yeah, that's all and fine. And I can do spooky stuff, too. You can if but you want. M- okay. Yeah. I mean, yeah, do you cast is- a spell? Yeah, if she's on the same plane of existence and sleeping. So, YOLO, let's try it. Yeah. Well, if she's not sleeping, you're basically, you can stay in the trance until she falls asleep, and then you'll appear. Um, okay. So you cast the spell, you focus your energy, you feel the presence of Tiangong, this weapon pulsing through your body uh you feel its mind melding with yours and stretching out into the vastness of the purple swirling mists of the astral sea you drift for some time not finding the anchor that you're looking for time becomes irrelevant you're not quite sure how long you've been in this state but eventually you do feel It's like a line that you've cast out, tethers to something in astral space. You follow the line and you pass through until you see, you don't see her surroundings, but you see Vala laying down asleep, dressed in a kind of long black night shift. Um, She looks much as she did when you first met this young girl um, you know, dark hair, which has grown longer now, I think would be the most common change. Her hair is a lot longer than it was, um, but still looks exactly as she does. And then you enter the dream. Uh, what do you make it look like? What do you shape it to be? Um, I'm just trying to remember exactly like, I want it to be, I think the village where we kind of first, uh, maybe made friends with her like a, Rose a Hall. nice Rose Hall, yeah. yeah so like a really yeah. i want it to be nice and friendly and warm and familiar mm-hmm. and kind of reflective yeah, you can make it the um you can make it like uh the inn where you guys all stayed yeah. um and uh, met there with the warm plates and the harvest decorations yeah. and things like that 
Um, yeah, sure. So you conjure this image of this warm, comforting inn, uh, full of like decorations and rustic furniture, and you see uh, Vala, her body kind of wakes up dressed in the clothes that she was when she was with you. Um, it's kind of like light fitting purple tunic and trousers and her eyes kind of open and she looks around and sort of smiles like kind of like a fond memory has happened. Um, and then she becomes aware of you. Uh, she kind of looks in your direction. Nova? Is this, is this, this is the spell, isn't it? This, I can tell this isn't, this isn't a real dream. You've created this. Yeah. Hey, how are you? Hey. I, yeah, I'm, I'm okay. Um, I, I wasn't sure if, I, I mean, I contacted Quill, uh, and, and a, a while ago now, and, and I was hoping that, why, well, I, I gave him some information. It, did that, did he get that? Did, did he know about the, the circle and everything? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He, he did. Um, I just, first of all, uh, is this, Sa- I've never really used this before. Is this safe? There's no way for <clears throat> people I, to spy. If you mean, I, I don't know. Uh, the truth is, is that I mean, he's he's not here, uh, and I know that he has to use Magitek to to be able to do it himself. Uh, often he just leaves it to his priests or to people that follow him. Some of his sub commanders. Um, it's used for communications. They have a machine that lets them do it across planes, which I don't think normally you can do. But I um, I don't know if he has a way of listening in on this type of spell. Uh, he certainly can't... You can't read his thoughts. You can't contact him with this stuff. Uh, I tried it once. It, he has something that prevents us from being able to read his mind or tell his intentions. Um, but I don't think he can listen in on stuff like this. I mean, he okay. certainly has never mentioned me talking to Quill. That's never come up. I guess, yeah, that would be the big giveaway, wouldn't it? Um, but are, are you safe? Are you well? I, I'm guessing you're still on the Tassadar, right? Yes, yes, of course, yeah. He he, he doesn't... I'm not allowed to, to leave the ship. Uh, I mean, I'm fine, Nova. I mean, I said this to Quill, but he's not cruel. He's quite kind and... Well, it's hard to explain. I, I know that he's... I know what he is and what he can do and what he's done. But at the same time, I keep getting taken back by how smart he is. The things he talks about do sometimes kind of make sense. He's told me a lot about Hadar and what's going on and why he he's doing what he's doing. And I don't agree with everything, but I can kind of see where he's coming from sometimes you know but I know no i am fine uh, you know maximilian looks after me i think maybe there's some people i don't think they work for my father i think they work for somebody else but they follow me sometimes they keep a close eye on me but maximilian said that he's aware and he's he's watching them as well so look I'm the similar I'm similar to you in that when I first started talking to Callus, it made sense to me too, right? How are we supposed to fight this divine monster that even he can't hold back? And and I thought about it. I thought, what if we sided with him or at least helped in some way? But you know, I don't know if Quill mentioned where we are. We've been traveling we got we got sent through astral space to. Oh, I'm You're in here space, in astral space. Mala. Yeah, I'm in space, and I thought it was going to be amazing, and and mostly it is, but we've seen his empire, we've seen planets taken over by his rule and his forces, and they're not happy, Vala. They're not happy. I know, I know, but that's the thing, Nova. It's it's not just about. It's not just about understanding him, you know, Hadar and everything else, but um, the way that he he's shown me some of the worst parts of Gideon Prime. I know about the poverty. I know about the way that the rich are left to kind of live their lives and other people are sent to work in mines and be soldiers and all. I know, but I've also seen the, the cost of what it's taking to hold Hadar back. <laughs> the ships it requires, the weapons, the magic, the pure numbers of people. 
just to hold Hadar in place to stop him gaining any ground. And like I said, I, I don't condone all of it, but some of it does make sense. Yeah. Happiness is a great thing, and I, I want people to have it, but it is a luxury. It's not one that everyone can afford. My father tries to do what he can to make sure that people have chances, but it's not always up to him. It's not just his, it's his empire, but there's lots of bureaucrats. There's a lot of, it's hard to explain. And I don't want to sound like I'm defending him. I'm not. I just don't know what else could be done. Well, do you still want to join us? I want to go home. I, I want to go to Arois. Uh, I'm a prisoner here. Like, no matter how kindly he treats me, no matter how much he lets me practice magic or learn about the world, I'm still a prisoner. And I don't want to be. I want to be home. I also want to learn... I want to learn more about Siaska. The way that he talks about her... He was a different person when they were together. He was... different to now. And I think that maybe, maybe... That if we learn more about her, if, if we can learn more about Siaska, maybe there's a chance that there's something we can say to him or convince him to change. Because it was different when she was around. I think you're right. And I think there's some things that we've learned that I could share with you that I think you're on the right lines. And I think there are things happening that maybe, maybe we can even bring Siaska back. But... <laughs> Look, we don't have much time. We can time. do that. If there's a way to do that, do that. We don't, you're right, we don't. But if you can bring Siaska back, that's the key, Nova. I, I really think so. Not just for him, but for me. She'd be able to teach me about these powers, this divinity. Uh, the others, uh, the Titans, they don't know, but there's something different, something ancient, something really powerful. And I think it's part of the key to beating Hadar. A spark of divinity, it's something needed. And she kind of begins to glance around. I think maybe, I think maybe their list, something's changing. I, there's some change in the magic, Nova. We don't have much time. I think maybe they're, they're detecting that something's going on. They've, they've, they can tell okay, that I'm being contacted. Don't worry about it. I just want you to know we are thinking of you and we are coming for you, but. It's just taking time. We we got we got okay. waylaid, but we're doing our best. We're doing we're not giving Come up. Come soon, you, okay? We okay. will. Yeah. I'll give her a quick hug, and then yeah, yeah she uh, she hugs back, and then you begin to feel the the kind of fabric of the dream fade away as the spell begins to come to its end. Um, and you just she looks at you one last time, uh, and you just you don't hear it as the spell's already faded, but you see her mouth the words of "Please save me." Um, Kiddo. As it as it all fades away, uh, and yeah, you find yourself back on the Twin Star, uh, the dull hum of the infernal engines around you. Uh, yeah. I think awesome. I'd sit up and I'd probably just start crying. To be honest, not like a big sob, but just like just yeah, the just emotion like a... of it all. Yeah, and just like sure. and of everything that's happened, just start crying. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, yeah. Uh, whereas we've only got we've only got ten minutes, so I don't yeah. think it's really time to get into anything big. I think that that is uh, my my second reward to you all is not a scary, stressful cliffhanger this week. Uh, as we Woo! end today's oh, episode, nice. <laughs> <Pretty Yeah. busy. laughs> treat Woo. a little treat. Such a kind uh, DM. All of you. Such a kind DM, a nice treat. But yeah, um, there you go. So awesome. we'll end so on that close. little conversation with Valor and some of the the revelations and some of the potential I could see Rhiannon sort of like girl you better not you better not me yep. and your dad have got I, some I, shit to sort out <laughs> you, you really do you really do yeah. um, got a bone to pick for you Starbane um, we're so close, so close to the where Erois might be maybe possibly almost mm. certainly yeah. not we're just gonna get Very there and it's just like what what where is it <laughs> yeah bim's completely got it oh. wrong it's like it's not here oh, oh well god Stupid. i mean oh, yeah. i'm glad he's not gonna ever do that to you guys okay. yeah back to azagrat it is <laughs> cool yeah. 
Um, well, do we awesome. want to read out some donios and stuff like that? That was absolutely. Great, absolutely so. I do. That was really cool, Mark. Really, really cool. Job. You escaped. Yeah. <laughs> you guys did very, very well. Like, you know, I know I talked about like the encounter difficulty, but that isn't to downplay. You guys were very smart, taking care of the chains, like focusing on those chains. Huge change meant that you weren't stuck in a combat and burning down the timer. Things like the banishment, the the sorry, the turn the faithless, genius move, good use of portents. You know, Ayla doing what Ayla yeah. does, which is tanking some damage <laughs> and like being in the yeah. front lines. The portal in was like, you know, started things off really well by like knocking those guys a bit of early damage. Like you guys did very, very well. Um, but yeah, I think you might find that things are a little bit tougher. I was very cautious yeah. about CR enemies for that fight. Um, a lot of the enemies you fought there were like CR6. Um, and that's just not strong enough to go against you guys anymore. You guys are too strong. 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 Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. and also holy weapon is like my new favorite spell that's awesome yeah, that's so pretty cool. well casting yeah. it on sentry is like the big brain galaxy move because it's like oh <laughs> she already gets she already gets 1d8 for improved divine smite if she uses divine smite that's like an extra three to four d8s as well it's yeah. like big damage basically also um, and then once you it, yeah. blow it up <laughs> yeah, blow it up and blind everything nearby. It's yeah. awesome. It's yeah. so cool. Very, very strong. Very, very uh, strong. Right. Varys has donated with no message, as usual. Thank you very much. Honky Conky. Uh, sorry to bother you guys. Is there a picture of the Valkyrian emblem anywhere? Uh... Do you know what? I don't think there is, and I, I keep changing the description of it. I think I, think I describe it as like a, like a four-pointed star with swords through it, like diagonal swords mm -hmm. through it, I think is how I've described yeah. it in the past. And its colors are purple and purple. <laughs> it's like purple and black, <laughs> yeah. I think, um, are the colors. Um, but no, there's no image, so go nuts if people want to dis design stuff like that. Yeah, if you want to put one together. Uh, yeah. It's similar uh, to the, the canon art of Callus, which is like the, his armor is like black and purple. Yeah. So it yeah, be yeah. something, so that to, complement, something to complement yeah. that, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Um, Shy Laren with $32 dues. Hey, crew, just wanted to say this may be my last stream for a while as I'm going back to work on Wednesday and do not have Sundays off. These past no few months have been great and you've helped my mental state more than you know. Love you guys always. Well, Shy Laren, more more there's cool. always the VODs, and there's uh, always the podcasts Modern as podcast. well. Modern podcasts, yeah. Plenty of ways for you to keep up and stay part of the gang, stay part of the High Rollers crew. Shy Laren, nice. so don't you worry. <laughs> um, nice Kenku Noises, poop in my mouth hole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that Kim. kind of thing. That was a very weird thing to say. Yeah. Trot yeah. says it all the time. Yeah. Well, you said piss in my mouth. I said poop. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. He, he says doesn't want it, that. He says it all the time. Why do I get? Yeah, that but I can't believe I it, Kim. Can't I'd believe. Be happy to guzzle down some piss, but not some shit, Kim. Yeah, Jeez. that's taking it too <laughs> far. Jeez. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. okay. Moving on. She was right. eighteen. Uh, it is pay week this week, and got a whole bunch, a uh, whole chunk of change to spend. So gonna buy a gemstone dice set because they look so oh, nice. They are very they nice. Enjoy. Enjoy. Treat yourself, yourself. Wadi. Uh, Wolfie Kid of Doom. Uh, been a low couple of weeks for me, so these have been a blessing. Mark, I've finally gone around to watching Knights of Evening Star, and I'm loving it. Plus, I'm Chaos glad. Twins Alien Isolation has me rolling. Thank you for all. Very. Uh, thank you all for helping me feel a little bit more human. You are very welcome, Wolfie Kid of Doom. I'm glad you're enjoying all of that stuff, including Knights of Evening Star. More stuff from Mark. Yeah, no, I'm glad you're enjoying that. Yeah. That's a really fun game to run. It's very different. Like, it's got a very different vibe um, to uh, Eroes and Curse of Strahd with the different players. Um, but it's been fun to kind of play around with that. And it's good practice for me. I'm trying some different stuff, trying some kingdom management stuff. Um, oh, yeah, I'm glad you're enjoying yeah. it. Um, nice. Uh, Anticlimatic Antichrist. Uh, I've been watching since the beginning of Lightfall and wanted to say that I love the show. Keep spreading your delightful chaos re. Specifically, re chaos. No, no, oh, uh, I will try my hardest. Yeah, it's, <laughs> I mean, I think if you, if you if you try a little bit, it's still too much chaos for the average person. <laughs> um, As is evidence Tara, on Tuesday. Like Tarascada, <laughs> Tarascada. I think that's how you pronounce that. Hi, hi, rollers. 
Just making a small dono to show hi, my hi. appreciation for what you guys do. Erois, Strahd, the Tim and Shannon Chaos Show never fail to make me happy when I was feeling down. Uh, love uh, from France, and sorry, I couldn't Ooh. give more. Do not worry about that, Tauraskeda. I'm definitely saying that wrong. Um, I'm glad you're enjoying everything as well. Serial Jester, hi, Rollers. We don't think we're better than other streamers. It's not a competition. We're all just a big community having fun together. Also, hi, Rollers. Ah, fuck you, hats, trashed you, bitches. <laughs> Suck on that. <laughs> a pub yeah. quiz oh. is very different to oh, I see. the D and D community. We see ourselves as you know, like, oh, we just love everyone. But in the quiz, we were definitely a lot more competitive than we thought we were going to. Yeah, be, right? there was a bit. Uh, <laughs> there was a bit trot where we all said, like, before the score came up, like, ah, yeah, but we're not really here to win. We're just here to have fun. And then we saw we were second. We all just went, yes, yeah, we beat our <laughs> film, yes. <laughs> We didn't um, care about winning, we just wanted to not lose to you. It's a good uh, thing I wasn't on your team, because most of my typos made us lose. <laughs> so, well, yeah, most yeah, of my no. typos made us come second. You care, yeah. Um Mark's left nut with a half hundo. Uh, nice. Hey, guys. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> hey, guys. Love the stream. I was just wondering if Mark has a timeline of where, of when the group is going to arrive back on a row. So three-ish dates. Uh, and how much time has passed? Uh, yeah, I'm not sure how much time overall has passed since a ro since we've been in astral space. Doesn't Some time. Uh, doesn't matter. We'll be back. What is um, time? Soon. What is time? What is, how is freedom? When what is, is love? Alex Chosen. Uh, I'm often on the VOD squad, but today I get to watch it live. Welcome. You guys have definitely carried me through the quarantine which is bad here in the US, so thank you, thank you. Uh, no worries. Yes, indeed. Well, I'm glad you're able to catch us live. Uh, welcome, 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 friend. Welcome, friend. Welcome, 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 friend. I'm doing a welcome. refresh to fill yeah. time. Can you tell? Welcome, friend. There we go. I can um, some stuff out as well if you want. Um, if you've got some, go for it. Uh, thank you to D Miller eighteen forty one and Cooper Ork for subs and also f again for the big one hundred subaroonies from Recall. Mm. Uh, also, right, I think that the draws have been made for something. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm waiting for Nightjar. Idol skins. Like yeah, but I um, specifically skin. that uh, the D and D Beyond uh, giveaway is still ongoing. So please follow us on Twitter and um, Twitch. Follow that Gleam link, and it will make it a lot yes. easier for you. Uh, we'll announce the and winner bundle. in the future, shortly, yeah. hopefully. So, and don't and forget, get that please do use the the D and D Beyond uh, link as well. So, check out the competition to win the source books, but also use the D and D Beyond referral link because uh, that does help us out click a lot it. as well. So, if you can click on that click um, and register for an account or buy something or do interact with it in some way to kind of make sure that that registers that you've come from us and you're using D&D Beyond, that would be amazing. There's a lot of um, yeah, don't forget about the giveaway. You can do D&D Beyond for free as well. Create, so it's yeah, worth, yeah. It. It's still worth yeah. checking out because yeah. Yeah, it's, it's an awesome tool. Totes. Uh, yeah. uh, and we will announce the winner. People. Yeah, check check uh, your whispers for the Ayla Idol Champions codes. Um, the mods are doing that. Nightjar and I, Dunny Ken are sorting that out, I think. Um, also, for the Gleam competition to win the D&D Beyond sourcebooks, uh, we'll announce that probably here and on Twitter. So here next week and on Twitter at some point as well, um, we'll let you know. So check, follow us on there as well uh, to get yep, updated yep, on that. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, uh, race through any more last ones, Tommy. Race through them. Yep, 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 yep. Yvrain of Laurel, I've shit myself. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I okay. uh, uh, love you guys so much. Thank you very much. Mudkip, Tom, Tom, and Reef. Ich bin a Mudkip. It looks like nothing can stop the sloths from devils to aliens, Tom, you seem invincible. Despite that time when you died, rip. But I might have a tip <laughs> wow. from for Tim. Use the code 1702 and active winning. Tom, Tom, and <laughs> Matt. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Mudkip uh, combination messages make no one sense to anybody <laughs> except Tom and Ree. Yeah. It makes no sense to like, anybody but these two. 1702, as I like to call it. 5555 and then 1705. <laughs> uh, Chromium246. <laughs> that dream, though. That was an amazing episode. Great plays from everyone and some amazing DMing from Mark. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed, I do. Yeah. Uh, Darth Date 41. Players getting a level up and an ending that wasn't a combat cliffhanger. Call me My suspicious. God. 
great episode. Oxo, thank you very much, Darth Dave 41. And Oxo. finally, that's all of them. Oxo, that's everyone. Thank you very much, everyone. That was very generous donations. Oxo. Uh, Super thanks. Oxo. Thank you very much, everybody. Thanks, Ola Rinve, for your donation. Simon donated Rethra. We are leaving and cue the Pina Colada song. Pretty damn epic, peeps. Hugs all around, stay safe. Uh, and thank you to Risky Paints for some pitties. That's it. Thank you. That's it. Thank you very much, everybody. We got to shoot. Uh, we're going to level up off screen. Um, bye. Yes. Goodbye. Bye. See you Thursday. Bye, bye. I love you. Bye. 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 Bye.